Our good friend Sean Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sean is a really healthy and strong Olympic gold medal gymnast. Mm -hmm. Hi, <laughs> friends, and you know how you stay healthy and fit, right? Ooh. By moving your body around. Mm -hmm. And by exercising. <laughs> yes, by moving around and having fun. And did you know you have over 600 muscles and 200 bones in your body? Whoa, that's yeah. a whole lot of muscle. That's a lot of bones. I know, and I thought we could try to move as many of them as possible today. And I had an idea for a game. Oh, what's that, Sean? Yeah. I thought we could do a story stretch. Oh, a story what? stretch. So we're stretching and telling a story at the same time? Wow. Yes, so we're gonna come up with a story. I'll go first, okay? Okay. Okay, okay so once upon a time, there is a jam pack worn by Mika. And there's a bow tie worn by Blippi. <laughs> and a gold medal worn by Sean Johnson. <laughs> and a big storm came and it got washed away oh. in the wind. Ooh. Oh, I get it. It's my jam pack blowing in the wind. Yes. Oh, and I get it. It's my bow tie whoo, blowing through the wind. <laughs> and it's your gold medal too. Yeah. <laughs> Don't forget that medal. Mika, do you want to try? Oh, oh, sure. Um, uh, let's see. Oh, and when the storm cleared, the sun came out shining big and bright. Oh, <laughs> oh okay, and I'll go. And then after the sun came out, uh -huh. a rainbow appeared. Here we go. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Blippi, Mika, and Sean realized they had to take a journey through the forest to find the lost items. Here we go. <laughs> Whoa, there are so many trees. I love this path. I think we should follow it. Okay. <laughs> and check it out. Then the forest got really, really thick with branches and tree trunks. <laughs> so they had to brush it out of the way. Woo! Woo! Whoa! <laughs> yeah. Whoa! Flippy! Sean! What is it? I see a big rocky mountain up ahead. Whoa. Whoa! Should we climb up it? Yes, we have to use the muscles in our arms to Ooh. make it to the top. Whoa, yeah. Oh, I certainly love exercise, but this is kind of tricky. Uh, uh, here we go. Whoa. You're doing great, friend. <laughs> but I don't see my jam pack. Don't see a bow tie, and I don't see a gold medal. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, where'd Blippi go? <laughs> woo, woo, oh. I know it's pretty tough getting up that mountain. You can do it, friend. Yeah. <laughs> we better go over here. <laughs> <laughs> you made it. Woo. Yay. Oh. There's a bridge over a river. Whoa. Well, we should probably go across it, but Sean, maybe you can show us because that looks like okay. it takes a lot of balance. A <laughs> lot of balance. You have to be very careful. Whoa, you look so, great. Whoa. One foot at a time. You want to try, friend? Be Whoa. careful. Okay, I'll try next. <laughs> you got okay. this. Here we go. You got it, Blippi? <gasps> oh, great balance, friend. <laughs> 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 Okay, here I go. Ooh, not so hard. Oh, uh, yay, I made it to the other side. <laughs> Whoa, check out this tunnel. Oh, wow. I wonder where it leads. Yeah, I wonder where it goes. Come on, Sean. <laughs> okay. Oh, here we go. <laughs> maybe it'll Whoa. lead us to gold. <laughs> oh, yeah, or maybe it will lead us to a field of strawberries. Ooh, oh. it kind of looks like a rabbit's burrow. Oh, yeah. Did you know that a burrow is what they call the hole that a rabbit lives in? <laughs> oh, oh, hey there, little rabbit. Oh, okay. hello. Oh, I think the rabbit thinks we're falling in. What's that? You know where our things are? Oh, oh yeah, the bow tie and the jam pack and the gold medal. Oh, oh. Let's get hopping. Okay, hop and along. Whoa, so colorful. Check wow. it out. They're so pretty. Yeah, it looks like there are some little lily pads here. The rabbit led us to the pond. Woohoo! Woohoo! 
Whoa! Rip it! Rip it! <laughs> Whoa, it's fun to be a frog on these lily pads! Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> oh, baby, we can stretch like a frog. Oh, great idea. Frogs have really long legs that are good for jumping, so we should stretch. <laughs> oh. Hey, Sean, do you have any good stretches you know for your legs? Yes, okay, so straighten your legs out and try to reach your fingertips all the way to your toes. Okay. Oh, that's not so far for me. <laughs> oh, that's a good stretch. You can also bring your legs together and try to put both your hands around your feet. Reach really, really hard. Ah, ooh, Whoa. this feels nice in my back. Yes. <laughs> this is a hard stretch. Whoa. You got it, dude. <laughs> Ooh. And you can also bring your feet in just like a frog. Oh, and yeah. try to bring your nose all the way down to the ground. Whoa. <laughs> oh, I Whoa. feel like a butterfly. <laughs> Flap those wings. That feels good. Uh -huh. I Whoa. feel it in my legs. Well, I love stretching, but wait a minute. There's not a gold medal, there's not a jam pack, and there certainly isn't a bow tie around here. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Let's keep looking. Oh, yeah. Oh, what's that? Oh, the frog said to go that way. Ribbit. <laughs> ribbit, 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 ribbit. Whoa, Sean, be a look. <gasps> Whoa, look at this log. Mm. It looks like a balance beam, too. Oh, wait. Do you think you could show us how to walk across the balance beam? I can try. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure when you walk, you don't look down. Okay. Don't look down. Whoa, because Sean is a gymnast, an Olympic medalist gymnast. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> She's really good at doing the balance beam. You look amazing. Okay, don't look down. Don't look down. <laughs> Whoa. Good job. I, I want to cross too, but I haven't tried the balance beam before. I'm a little bit nervous, but that's okay. When you try something for the first time, it's okay to get nervous. <laughs> I'm going to be brave. Okay, remember what Sean said. Don't look down. Just keep looking ahead. <laughs> Come on. Here we go. Okay. Whoa! Look! I'm doing it! Whoa! Whoa! We did it! Come on! Come on, Blippi! A colorful rainbow! Oh, wow! Do you think our gold medal and the bow tie and the jam packs at the bottom? Only one way to find out. And then Blippi, Mika, and Sean went down the big colorful rainbow slide. Woo! And perhaps they found their items. Mm -hmm. Woohoo! Whoa, okay, I'll go next. Woo! And now it's my turn. Come on! Here we go! <laughs> We're almost at the bottom! Yay! Okay! <laughs> Whoa! I see something at the bottom! Oh, me, me too! too. Hi, Jinx. Here, Here we go! go. Woo! Whoa! Oh, yeah. Whoa! Oh. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh, look! My jam pack! Oh, my medal! And my bow tie! <laughs> yeah, we did it! This calls for a 10 second dance party! Woo! <laughs> we did it! We did it! We never ever quit it! We, we did, did it! it. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, I have an idea. We had so much fun doing all of that. Why don't we try doing a relay race? Oh, okay. yeah. yeah! A relay race is when you're all on the same team. Mm -hmm. Yes. We're all gonna go one at a time. Okay. okay. Tag on for the next person. Who wants to go idea. first? Uh, I'll go first. Okay. <laughs> okay, here we go. On your mark, get, get set, set, go! go. Here we go! You Whoa. can do it! Whoa. <laughs> Hello! Whoa. 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 <laughs> That's my best friend! Whoa. Doing great! Whoa. 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 Here we go! Woo! Woo! 
You're getting closer. Whoa. You're getting closer. <laughs> yeah. Over the bridge. Go, Sean, go. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Woohoo. Go, Dude, Sean. Spider web. <laughs> Woo. Here I go! Whoa! Woo! Here I come! <laughs> Whoa! 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 Uh -huh. Go, Mika! <laughs> Whoa! Go, Mika! Woohoo! Woo! <laughs> She's almost to the oh, bottom. Here I go. Oh, go yeah. 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 Nice Yay. job. Whoa, that was some good sliding. <laughs> we did it. We finished the relay race and <gasps> we found all of our things. Yeah. yeah. I found my gym bag. And my bow tie. And my medal. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. Woo. Yeah. And we learned so much today. Yeah. yeah. We learned all about exercising. Mm -hmm. And we learned that the body has over 600 muscles. And Remember, Sean said 200 bones, too. Yes. <laughs> and I feel like we used so many muscles today. Oh, I feel yeah. tired. <laughs> I feel pretty tired, too. <laughs> Me, too. But I still had a really fun time. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of our videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, can you spell my name with us? OK, here we go. Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I. -I -P -P -I. Flippy. Good job. <laughs> Will you spell my name with us? Oh, lovely. <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. <laughs> and can you spell my name with us? Yeah. S-H-A-W-N, <laughs> Sean. <laughs> oh, that was so awesome. And we'll see you soon. Bye, babe. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 See ya. <laughs> Woo, yeah. <laughs>And today, I'm at Ball and Bounce in Encino, California. <gasps> Look at this place. It's so colorful. This looks like a great place to bounce and have fun and have a lot of playtime. Oh, but first things first, I need to take off my shoes. Let's go over here. Shoes off, shoes off. It's time to take my shoes off. Shoes off. Shoes up, it's time to take my shoes off. <laughs> hey, now that I've put my shoes away, it is time to bounce and play. <gasps> well, let's go. Wow, check it out. I think this is like a zip line. You can hang on to this bar and go all the way down. Oh, I gotta try it. Whoa, look at this floor. Can you see that? All these different colors? Oh, it's kind of like a really colorful hopscotch. Here, let me try it out. One, two, one, one, two. <laughs> wow, that was so fun. Kind of reminds me of a rainbow because there's so many different colors. That reminds me, I have a game we can play in my jam pack. Check this out. I have a bingo card. See all these spaces? We can find different colors today and then we can use these stickers to mark down the colors that we found on the card. Will you play with me? <laughs> nice. I wonder how many colors we're gonna find. Let's start looking. Let's go find some colors. Let's go find some colors. Oh, look at these blocks. They're so colorful. Hmm, let's see which ones I want to pick out. All right, let's see what colors we have. We have orange. <laughs> Can you think of something that's orange? Maybe a pumpkin <laughs> or a carrot? 
Do you know what animal really likes carrots? That's right, a bunny rabbit. <laughs> okay, orange. Do I have an orange sticker on here? Oh yeah. All right, put this on our chart. Okay, the color orange. And the next color is blue. Hmm, something blue. The sky. Oh, I love seeing a really clear blue sky. <laughs> Let's see. You see blue on here? There it is. Nice, bright blue. And our next block is, do you know? It's one of my favorite colors. Yellow, that's right. Can you think of something that's yellow? Maybe a lemon? Oh, have you had a lemon before? They're really sour, but also really tasty. <laughs> or a banana? <laughs> All of these foods are making me a little hungry. Okay, let's see. Let's find the yellow sticker on here. <laughs> Ooh, this is such a fun color, I think. Do you know what it is? It's pink. Yeah. Ooh, can you think of something pink? I sometimes think about cotton candy or sweet treats that are pink. <laughs> That's really fun. Um, there's kind of two pinks on here. I think I'll go with this pink. <laughs> and the last color is green. Okay, something green. Maybe green grass or, ooh, broccoli. I love broccoli or cucumbers. <laughs> okay, let's find the color green on here. Oh, this is a good green. And we'll put it right here. Look at all of those colors. Will you count the colors with me? Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Five colors added to our chart. <laughs> hey, maybe we can build something really fun with these blocks. Hmm, maybe a fort or a house or a castle or... <gasps> what about a throne? Yes, a royal throne. And then I can be Queen Mika. All right, I'm gonna try it out and see if I fit on the throne. Hello, it is I, Queen Mika. Thank you for coming. Oh, yes, sir. What's your name? Oh, <laughs> nice to meet you, Malcolm. Thank you for coming to my royal kingdom. <laughs> this is so fun. You know what? You can sit here if you like. Enjoy, Malcolm. All right. Let's see if we can find some more colors. Come on. Whoa! Did you see how fast that was? Oh, this place is so fun. And whoa, this is the most colorful ball pit I've ever seen. Wow, look at all of these colors. Whoa. I feel like I'm in a bowl of rainbow sprinkles. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I wonder if I could juggle. Let's see, usually you have three balls. Let's see. <laughs> ah, I still need to practice. I'm pretty good with two, though. Whoa! Oh, ball pits are so much fun. You can do a lot of things with ball pits. You can dance, you can fall. <laughs> You can make angels in the ball pit. Ooh. Or you can even take a nap. <clears throat> oh, sorry. <laughs> I was dreaming about those rainbow sprinkles. <laughs> oh. Hey, you see something behind me? Like what? Oh. <gasps> A climbing wall! Oh, that's so fun! Look, you have all of these steps that can help you climb to the very top. Should I try it? Okay. I'm 
ready. I will start with the color blue. Blue, oh and look, there's yellow, and there's red, and oh, I'm already at the top. You look so small down there. Hi. <laughs> Fall back into the ball pit. <laughs> Let's see, we have, oh, there's another green here. Do you see a green sticker? Yeah, right there. And, oh, I stepped on dark green on the climbing wall, so maybe we can use another green. What other color? Oh, what about red? Like a red apple or a red tomato. You see red on here? Oh yeah. And oh, here's another yellow, like the sun. Okay, we'll put our yellow sticker there. Look, the top line is already filled up. Ooh, we could put some more colors on here. Um, another orange. <laughs> or Another mm, blue. Maybe another red. And let's find two more colors. What do you think? Oh, maybe the bright pink. Yeah. Yep, pink. <laughs> and another green. <laughs> and another orange. All right, I think that's pretty good. Should we find some more colors? All right, let's go. Whoa! Gone's like a bunny with me. Oh, I wonder what's in here. See you on the other side. Hello. <laughs> Ooh, more colors. Bounce. Oh, this looks fun. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's kind of like a little slide. <laughs> hey, there's some more colors here. Maybe we can fill up the chart a little bit. Oh, do you know this color? One of my favorites, <laughs> purple. That's right. And there's a purple sticker right there, put it there. And, oh, can you see on the side? There's some pink, pink. There's a pink sticker. Okay, any other colors? Oh, look behind me. I see yellow. <laughs> There's a yellow sticker, put it right there. And oh, you see red? Wow, it's really filling up. Look, we only need one more sticker. <gasps> Let's see if we can find our last color. <laughs> oh, look at this. Hmm, some kind of animal, I think. It's green and has two eyes and a really big smile. Looks like this. <laughs> hey, I think this is a frog. Do you know what sound a frog makes? It goes rabbit. Ribbit, ribbit. <laughs> and frogs bounce too, just like bunnies. <gasps> hey, green can be our last color. Look, this green is almost the same green as this frog. All right, <gasps> check it out. We filled out the entire chart. Look at all of those colors. <gasps> Five, six, seven, eight, now it's time to celebrate! <gasps> and I see a great place to celebrate. Come on, let's bounce like frogs over there. <gasps> ribbit, 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 ribbit. <laughs> it's time to take a break to wiggle and shake and bounce. Do you see what this is? It's a trampoline. Will you bounce with me? <laughs> All right, let's do it. What a fun way to celebrate filling our color card. Hey, will you bounce like animals with me? We bounced like bunnies 
and we bounce like frogs. <gasps> what if we bounce like a kangaroo? Let's do it. Boing, boing, boing. <laughs> what other animals? <gasps> I wonder how a T-Rex would bounce on a trampoline. Maybe like <clears throat> Really happy T Rex. <laughs> How high can you bounce? I feel like I'm flying. <laughs> oh, bouncing with you is so much fun. Let's get our color chart and go. Come on. Boing, 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 boing. <laughs> I had so much fun with you today at Ball and Bounce. Hey, thanks for helping me find all of those colors. Check out our bingo color chart. There's so many different colors. I love it. It's so colorful and so beautiful. I know. I think I'll give this to my very best friend, Blippi. <laughs> He'll love it. <laughs> well, this is the end of this episode, but if you want to watch more of my episodes, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> cool. M E E. K-A-H, Mika. <laughs> well, I'll see you next time, bye. Hey, it's me, Mika. Today I'm at a really cool place called Sequest Interactive Aquarium in Las Vegas, Nevada. That's right. Interactive means we get to pet, feed, and say hi to some of the animals we meet. I'm so excited to meet some adorable animals. Let's go. Whoa, check out this canoe. It has so many bright colors. Let's name the colors. Red, black, yellow, one of my favorite colors. Orange and Brown, too. I know. Let's get inside and go find some animal friends. Whoa! The waters are really rough. Grab your oar. Great job. Keep going. Whoa! I can see the shore is getting closer. Let me make sure we're going the right way. Oh, yeah. We're traveling west. <laughs> Keep rowing, friend. You're doing a great job. <laughs> oh, we made it to shore. Let's go see what animal friends we can find. Wow, look at these sea stars. They're so bright and colorful. <laughs> Let's take a closer look. Let's count how many arms this one has. One, two, three, four, five. Five arms. <laughs> Did you know when sea stars injure their arms, they just grow back? <laughs> and sea stars have a very interesting way of eating. They wrap their arms around their food, spit out their bellies. The bellies eat up all the food. Yum, 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 yum. And then they go back into their body. Whoa. <laughs> Check it out. That's called a sea urchin. It's round and kind of prickly. And that's a sea anemone. Let's give it a peck. Whoa. It's so soft. <laughs> Let's pet this sea star too. Oh, that was much harder. Okay, see you later. <laughs> oh, a stingray. <laughs> Ooh. Whoa, there are real stingrays over there. Let's go say hello. <laughs> wow. <gasps> stingrays have flat bodies so that they can get nice and snug in some sand in case they need to protect themselves. <laughs> and they love to eat shrimp. Oh, hey, I know. Let's feed them some of my Sequest shrimp that I have in my jam pack. <laughs> okay, friends, 
It's lunchtime. <laughs> Here you go. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Let's see if we can get some more stingray friends to eat some lunch. There you go. How about a pet? Oh, here's a friend. <laughs> you must be really hungry, friend. Oh, whoa. Did you see that shark? <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. <gasps> whoa. <laughs> Let's feed him some more. <laughs> Stingrays move very wavy like this. That's because they don't have any bones. It was so nice to meet you, Stingrays. Let's go see what other friends we can find. <laughs> Whoa! I heard this tortoise's name is Stormin' Norman. <laughs> Hi, Norman. I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Tortoises have hard shells that protect their bodies. Their arms, legs, and head can go inside of it. <laughs> Whoa! And did you know tortoises do something called broom mating? That's when they sleep longer in the winter months. <laughs> Let's see if Stormin wants some food. I have some Sequest jicama in my jam bag. <laughs> Here you go, Norman. Nope, doesn't seem like he's hungry. That's okay, I'll hold on to your food for later. <laughs> well, bye, Norman. Let's go see some other animal friends. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mika, nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Janelle. Hey, Janelle, what do you do here? Uh, I'm the lead keeper here. Wow, that's so cool. <gasps> oh, are you about to feed the animals? Yes, would you like to go in? I'd love to. Great, let's go. Let's go. This is Azalea. <laughs> Hi, Azalea. What does Azalea like to eat? She likes to eat different kinds of greens and haze. She's got flat teeth so she can chew on those. Oh, wow. They're herbivores. That means they like to eat plants. <laughs> May I feed her? Yes, you can. Here you go, Azalea. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> Perfect. Did you know wallabies can balance on their tails? <laughs> wow. And how are wallabies different from kangaroos? It's mostly size. Kangaroos get about six feet, where these guys get to about three and a half, four feet in height. Oh, so wallabies are much smaller. <gasps> Can I pet Azalea? Yes, we're gonna do a two finger touch down her back. Okay. Oh, <laughs> so soft. Can you tell me any other facts about wallabies? Yes, they're marsupials. <gasps> oh, I know what that means. Marsupials carry their babies in pouches. <laughs> Kind of like a jam pack. Oh, do you hear that hopping sound? <laughs> hop, hop. Let's hop like a wallaby. Hop, hop. <laughs> Would you like to go see some other animals? Yes, I'd love to. Great, let's go. Let's hop away. Hop, hop. <laughs> Whoa, prairie dogs. I know, prairie dogs like to live in groups. That's right, they also like to communicate with each other through chirps and noises. <gasps> Whoa! Will you chirp like a prairie dog with me? Chirp, 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 chirp. And prairie dogs like to burrow. That means they live underground. And they like to nuzzle each other's noses. <laughs> and they groom each other too. That's how they stay clean. That's right, would you like to feed them? <gasps> yes, please. They like lettuce. Oh, are you ready to eat, friend? There you go. <laughs> what does it mean when they do this? They like to play with you. Would you like to try? Sure. Let's see if they'll play with me. Hello, friend. Will you dance with me? Can we see some other animals? Yes, let's go. Great. Who's this? This is Percy the Possum. Oh, Percy is so fluffy. He's a marsupial. Do you remember the other marsupials we met? <laughs> yeah, the wallabies. Wow, 
Percy has such a strong tail. Is that for climbing trees? Yes, this is a prehensile tail. Mmm, prehensile means there are lots of muscles in his tail. <laughs> what does Percy like to eat? Percy likes to eat lots and lots of bugs at nighttime, mm. and he likes to eat little snacks here and there. Oh. Would you like to feed him one? Yes, please. Oh, yum! Sweet potato. Here you go, Percy. Yum, he's got a big mouthful. Can I pet him? Yes, you can. <laughs> <laughs> How does Percy differ from other marsupials? He's not turn off. Oh. <laughs> Nocturnal means that he sleeps during the day and is awake all night. How many teeth does Percy have? He has the most amount of teeth of a North American uh, marsupial oh. or mammal. <laughs> Oh, great. It was so nice to meet you, Percy. <gasps> Who's this? This is Quilliam. <laughs> Hi, Quilliam. Is he named Quilliam because of these quills? Yes. <laughs> these quills help keep Quilliam safe. Whenever he's frightened, he just fans out his quills, and that means please stay back. <laughs> Quilliam's an African crested porcupine. <gasps> an African crested porcupine is the biggest porcupine in the world. Can I feed him? Yes, you can. Ooh, what's this? There's yucca. He likes to eat root vegetables. Sweet potato, yucca. <laughs> Quilliam, would you like some yucca? Here you go, Quilliam. Very tasty, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Feels like William has very strong teeth. He does. He has rodent teeth. They never stop growing. He's also got a special enamel on him that keeps him from getting <laughs> cavities. Oh, that's really helpful. <laughs> Thank you so much for showing me all these animals. You're welcome. <laughs> Bye, Janelle. Bye, William. Bye, Mika. Whoa! A coloring station. Would you like to color with me? <laughs> Great! <laughs> I'll start with purple. <gasps> I know. Can you guess what animal I'm coloring that we saw earlier today? I'll give you a few hints. This animal has eyes on top of its head and a mouth on the bottom of its body. Ooh, I want to use black next. <laughs> this animal loves to eat shrimp. <laughs> oh, ooh, I'm coloring with blue now. This animal has a really long tail. Do you know what it is? That's right, a stingray. <laughs> I think I'll name my stingray Shirley. <laughs> Come on, Shirley, let's swim away. <laughs> Look, Stingray, I can move like you. <laughs> Whoa, that was so much fun meeting all those Stingrays and Azalea the Wallaby and Quilliam the Porcupine. Wow, those animals are so cute. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. <laughs> Okay, let's hop away like wallabies. Hey, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at the Columbia Memorial Space Center in Downey, California. Can you guess what this is? It's a real capsule. Mm-hmm, and today we're going to be astronauts and create a capsule of our own. Are you ready? Okay. Blast off! <laughs> I'm so excited to be in a shuttle today and be an astronaut. Do you know what an astronaut is? An astronaut is a person that goes up into outer space to study the moon and stars and planets too. I got it. Would you like to be an astronaut with me? <laughs> Great. All right. Let me dial mission control. Mission control, it's Commander Meeker here. Mm-hmm. My astronaut buddies and I are ready for takeoff. <gasps> All right. 
Counting down in three, two, one. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> wow! <laughs> I can see so many stars and planets. I can see Mercury and Venus and Earth and Mars and Jupiter, Uranus, Saturn, and Neptune. <laughs> wow! Did you know the sun is a star? <laughs> I know, so cool. Okay, let's go power and explore. Click, click. <laughs> wow, check it out. It's a real spacesuit, just like astronauts wear when they go on moonwalks in space. <laughs> it's white with red accents. Oh, and the material is really, really tough to protect astronauts when they're in space. And look at this helmet. This is so astronauts can breathe oxygen out in space. I want to get inside. Come on. Hi, I'm an astronaut. <laughs> wow. Oh, an asteroid. <laughs> I can see so many stars and planets up here. Whoa! Check it out! I have a flight suit of my own. <laughs> I'm astronaut Mika, and I'm ready to explore space. Are you ready? Vroom, 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 zoom, 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 let's go! This is a robotics lab. This is where scientists called engineers code a rover. A rover is a big truck that moves along a planet's surface and takes pictures of rocks and dirt. And the cool thing is it's controlled by a scientist on Earth. That way they can learn about what a planet is like. Come on, let's go code a rover. Coding the rover means I'm planning out how it'll move on the planet. Okay, I'm setting up this rover to take lots of pictures of Mars and pick up a rock. Okay, now that it's set, let's place it on the table. <gasps> Whoa, this rover reminds me of an excavator. It picks up rocks instead of dirt though. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, let's hope the rover picks up this rock. Here we go. Not quite. Let's try again. Here we go. Ready? <laughs> Yay! We did it! We taught the rover how to pick up a rock. Now, scientists can use these rocks to discover different things about the planet, like how big it is, how old it is, and what can survive there. <laughs> cool! Let's go! This is where we can build our own capsule, just like Apollo 11. Let's get our supplies. First, we'll need two pieces of black yarn. One, two. Next, we need a cardboard capsule. Then we need a sheet of tissue paper. Oh, there are lots of different colors in here, but I'm gonna pick Yellow, just like my headband. A capsule is a piece of the rocket that the astronauts use to come back to Earth in. We're punching some holes in there. Awesome! Two holes punched in our capsule. Now we'll punch some holes in our tissue paper. One hole. And two. Awesome! Next, we'll take our black yarn and we'll loop it through the holes. Oh, I bet my best friend Blippi and I would have a great time in one of these. <laughs> I love traveling through space with my best friend. Okay. <laughs> okay, one last step. Take our silver handle and put tape it on top. 
Now I need two pieces of tape. One. Awesome. <laughs> two. Now we have our capsule and we're ready to launch. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, <gasps> that was awesome. We did it. We did it. We never ever quit it. We did it. Awesome. Safe landing. That was cool. <laughs> all right, Mission Control, we did it. We went all the way into outer space and now we're safe back on planet Earth. We were really busy exploring space and when it was time to come back to Earth, we landed safely in our parachutes. I just want to thank all the scientists for their hard work. And I especially want to thank my best friend, Blippi, for always believing in me and my mission. <laughs> now let's go see what other things we can make fly through the air. Come on! <gasps> Check it out! An airplane building station. That's right! Airplanes fly through the air, too. Okay. I'll start with a sheet of paper, and then I'll fold it in half. Paper airplanes help us understand how real airplanes fly through the sky. Oh, look, I just made a triangle. See? <laughs> Triangles have three sides. All right, fold it one more time, and another time on this side. And look, we have an airplane. Whoa! Let's go! Oh, we made it to the launching pad! The shape of the wings is what makes it possible for an airplane to fly. When the wings are flat and then curved at the end, air pressure can sit on top of the plane, which makes it possible to fly through the air. Okay. Let's make sure our launching pad is lined up just right. There we go. So we'll put the plane here and we'll push this green button in three, two, one. Wow, look at that airplane go. <laughs> Check it out, I'm in a science lab. Astronauts are scientists, too. That's because they do experiments when they're exploring on the moon. An experiment is when you try something new to see what will happen. Sometimes you need a parent or an adult to help you. I've got it. Let's do an experiment and learn together. Will you help me with my ooey gooey experiment? <laughs> Great. Let's start off with a quarter cup of water. Splash! And then we'll add a quarter cup of sticky, ooey gooey glue. <laughs> now we'll have to take our popsicle stick and stir, stir, stir. Stir, 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 stir it up. Stir up that glue. Stir, 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 stir it up. I love to experiment with you. <laughs> Okay, we gotta get our glue and water all mixed in. Wow, this is so cool. Okay, we're ready to add our glitter. And guess what? It's my favorite color, purple. Wow, so pretty. Looks very stellar. <laughs> Okay, we have our purple glitter, and now we're gonna add a quarter cup of starch. And that'll make it extra, extra sticky. Wow, do you see it? It's forming in one big lump. Wow, okay, I think it's almost ready. 
think we're ready to touch it. Ooh, it's so sticky and ooey gooey. <laughs> I've got it. I'll name my slime hmm, Lunar Slime. <laughs> Thank you so much for exploring space with me today. We wore a spacesuit, we coated a rover, and we created our own capsule and watched it float back down to Earth. That was cool. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. <laughs> all right. See you later. Bye-bye. Hey, it's me, Mika. And today I'm in Peekaboo Playland in Eagle Rock, California. This place looks like so much fun. I can't wait to check everything out. Oh, look down here. I found one, two cars. Whoa, look how big these wheels are. Maybe they'll race. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Hey, I have an idea. What if we pretended that we were in a really busy town? There's lots going on. There's cars everywhere and they're getting really dirty. And we have to build a car wash to wash the cars. Will you play with me? Awesome. All right, let's do it. One, two, three, four, I'm ready to explore! <laughs> Come on! Hey, let me know if you find a really good place to set up a car wash. Okay, let's see. Oh, what's under here? Hmm, well, I have these two little cars. I don't know if this is a good spot though. This big table already takes up so much space. <gasps> Whoa, look at this car. Oh, it even has eyes on it. Hello, Mr. Car. Hello. <laughs> Whoa, we could wash this car too. It's a lot bigger than these. Hmm. We're gonna need a lot of space. We need a lot of things for a car wash. We need space, we need soap, we need water, we need sponges. All right, let's keep looking. I'm gonna look up here. Hello! Oh yeah, that's definitely not a good space for a car wash. <laughs> it's just a fun slide. <laughs> well, when in doubt, dance it out. Come on cars, let's dance it out. <laughs> huh, let's check this place out. It's a tiny kitchen. This is so cool. There's table and chairs and a refrigerator full of food. Hmm, but this is not a great place for a car wash. You can't wash cars in the kitchen. <laughs> hey, look, there's a sponge in here. This will be the greatest sponge ever to just clean these cars, and make them squeaky, shiny, clean. All right, we have a sponge, we have some cars, we still need to find the best place for our car wash. Let's go. Wait a minute. Is this the perfect place to build a car wash? Look at all of this space. There's blocks where we can build the car wash. Oh, there's a bucket. Oh, hi, uh, do you mind if I use this bucket? Thank you so much. Okay, we can pretend that there's soap and water in here. Okay, and look, there's a big car that we could wash. That'll be super fun. Okay, we have little cars, we have a big car, soap and water, sponge. Now we just have to build our car wash. Let's do it. I'm gonna build this tower. And I think that's a good height. Will you help me count these blocks? Okay, let's do it. One, two, three, four. So if I want the same tower on the other side, how many blocks will I need? 
That's right, four. Let's count them. One, two, three, four. See, now they're even. Hmm. This can be a little roof. Okay, now let's test it out and make sure that our big car can fit through. Oh yeah, it fits. Okay, put that there and then, hmm. This will be really fun for the little cars. Welcome, welcome to the grand opening of Mika's Car Wash. We're looking for those dirty cars. We wanna wash those cars. Oh, well here's one right here. Whoa, you've been through a lot. We're gonna clean you up. Get some soap and water on here. There's a lot of dirt on this car. Squeaky, squeaky, squeaky clean. <laughs> oh, sorry, got some on your eye there. Okay, I think it's time to go through the car wash. <laughs> okay, let's go car. Get ready for the water. Shh. Are you kidding me? Are you the cleanest car ever? <laughs> you look amazing, so sparkly, so clean. Thank you. Oh, you are the most welcome. Well, have a great day. Bye. <laughs> now we can wash the little cars. Okay, here they are. One, two. Get some soap and water for these little ones. And scrub, scrub clean. Wow, this is so much fun. Clean, 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 scrub, scrub, scrub. Clean, 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 and a scrub, scrub, scrub. Now it's time to get all those bubbles off. Let's go through the car wash. <laughs> Shh. Wow, you two look so clean. And guess what? There's a special part for little cars just like you. Welcome to the bonus slide. Boom, 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 boom. Here comes the blue one. All right, have a good day. Bye, car. <laughs> and here's the orange one. Ready for the slide now that you're all nice and clean? Vroom, vroom, vroom. <laughs> all right, buddy, have a great day. Hey, I wonder if there are more cars that we can clean. Let's go. Hey, up here. Will you help me find more things to put through our car wash? Oh, great, let's do it. We haven't looked inside the tower yet. A fire truck. This fire truck could totally go through our car wash. There's a fish up here. Could a fish go through a car wash? <laughs> no, fish don't need to get cleaned in a car wash. They're already in water. Goodbye, fish. Oh. I'm gonna go down the slide. I'll meet you at the bottom. Whoa! <laughs> Did you see how fast I went? <laughs> okay, these two can go straight to the car wash. So long. <laughs> Here you go, fire truck. I'll meet you there. All right, let's keep looking. Oh, what's this? Oh, this is a baby carriage. A baby carriage does not need to go through the car wash. <laughs> this can go through our car wash. Okay, ready to get clean? Straight ahead, meet you there. Another baby carriage. That can't go through the car wash. Tractor! Oh, this will be so much fun to clean the tractor. All right, tractor, take a break from the farm. You're going to the car wash. See you there. The 
see if there's anything else that we can wash. I found an orange motorcycle. This can definitely go through the car wash. All right, I think we have everything we need. I'll meet you at the car wash. Let's go. Boom, 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 boom. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> oh no, the car wash. Oh, that's okay. We can rebuild it. Do you remember how we built this thing? Oh, good. <laughs> okay, to build a tower. I think it looks pretty good. Hey, we did it, we did it. We never ever quit it, we did it. This looks amazing. See, you can always rebuild. All right, I need my bucket and sponge. And, ooh, let's wash this car first. Hello, car. We're gonna make you nice and clean, all right. And a scrub a dub dub, a scrub a dub dub, a scrub a dub dub, and a scrub a dub dub. Okay, watch your eyes. I do have some soap here. Okay. All right. Now you can go through the car wash and get those bubbles off. Here you go. Vroom, vroom. Shh. <gasps> so clean. Oh, you look so nice. Okay, we're gonna move you, tractor. Why don't you just dry in the sunshine? Oh, and it looks like you're ready to get clean. This is my first time cleaning a tractor. Oh, it's a little different than a car. Get those wheels. Nice and soapy. Okay, are you ready for the car wash? Awesome, let's go. Looking good, Mr. Tractor. Okay, you can sit here to dry. Beautiful. And oh, what about my favorite, the orange motorcycle? Okay, Oof. it got even dirtier because I crashed into the car wash. My bad. <laughs> squeaky clean. Squeak, 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 squeak. <laughs> okay, time to go through the car wash. Wow, you look amazing. Okay, you can sit here and dry. And last but certainly not least, we have our two little vehicles, fire truck and a car. I think we can wash you two at the same time. I love the sounds that vehicles make. Like they could have sirens on them like fire trucks. Woo, woo. Or they could have big engines. And they could sound like vroom, vroom, vroom. <laughs> okay, let's go through the car wash together. Wow, and you get to go down our super fun slide and then you'll get really dry. Ready? And now you fire truck. Everything is so nice and clean now. Five, six, seven, eight. Now it's time to celebrate with a clean car parade. All right, first up we have beautiful Miss Green looking very nice and clean. You go, girl. Shh. Bye-bye, thank you so much. And next up we have this clean tractor headed back to the farm. So long, tractor. And we can't forget my little buddy here, the motorcycle that went through a crash, but survived. Go on, motorcycle. And our two friends, the fire truck and the big car. <laughs> All right, later. Today was so much fun playing with you at Peekaboo Playland. Thank you so much for helping me build that amazing car wash. We cleaned so many things together. We cleaned cars and trucks. Ooh, and a motorcycle. Vroom, vroom. <laughs> well, 
This is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye. Hi, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at the Lang Foundation in Los Angeles, California. And here, you can adopt a dog or a cat, and then they can be part of your family. Oh, there's a dog right there. Oh, hi, I'm Mika. Hi, I'm Megan. Hi, Megan. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. This is Willow. Oh, hi, Willow. Oh, it's always important to ask before you pet an animal. Uh, can I pet Willow? Yes, you can. Okay. So just crouch down so you're on her level uh -huh. and put your fist out so she can okay. smell you. Willow, Willow. What do you think? Aww. <laughs> so sweet. Well, are there more animals inside? There are. Oh, let's go check them out. So what is this little one's name? This is Sprout. <gasps> Sprout, what a cute name. Hi, Sprout. I have some treats for Sprout. Sprout allowed to have a treat? Yes, he okay. is. Let's see, you want a treat? You think Sprout likes treats? <laughs> Aw. Can we bring Sprout down to the ground and yeah. see if Sprout will want to play with us? Aw. Whoa, cool squeaky toy. It's a pink snake. <laughs> so once someone adopts an animal, what do they need to take care of the animal? Yeah, so for dogs, they need a leash, a collar, a harness, um, food, bowls, uh, and a lot of toys. Whoa! Food, bowls, toys. It's a lot of work to take care of an animal. It they is. need a lot of things. Aww. And is it different for cats? Yeah, so cats would need um, also food, bowls, uh, litter box, litter, um, some good things to scratch on. Oh, yeah, cats love to scratch. And a <laughs> safe carrier in case you need to take them to the vet. Oh, wow. So you get a lot of things once you adopt an animal here. Yes. Yes, we give people some of the food that they've been eating, um, some toys. And where do you get all of these toys? They have so many fun things to play with here. We get a lot of it donated. If oh, people yeah? have extra supplies, they donate them to us. And yeah, it's a big help for us. Whoa, what a great idea to donate toys for these dogs and cats to play with. <laughs> oh, what's this toy? Where did these animals come from? So we rescue these animals from city shelters. Uh, basically, the shelters are crowded with animals, so we take them and find them new homes. Oh, that's really nice. And if someone wants to adopt an animal, what do they do? So we would have them come in and meet some of the animals. They'd fill out an application, and we would help them find the right animal that matches their family. Wow, that's awesome! It's so fun to play with cats and dogs, but it's also important to remember you have to take very special care of them. Whoa, come look at this dog. Whoa, what kind of dog is this? This is an American Bully Mix. American Bully Mix, whoa. This is a bigger dog, aw. And she's so loving, what's her name? Uh, her name is Lady. Hi, Lady. Aww. So, so sweet. What's this? A blue, oh, like a little mouse with a super long tail. <laughs> Aww. This dog is so cool. Ooh, and I love the purple leash. One of my favorite colors. Love your leash. Oh, and what's on her belly here? Yeah, so she's definitely had a litter of puppies. Wow, a litter of puppies? That's so cool. How many puppies do you know? Um, I don't, but I think they can have up to 10 puppies. Whoa, that's a lot of puppies. Wow. Oh, well, it was nice to meet you. Thanks for playing with us. Melissa's ready for her bandage change. Okay, great. Aww. Hi, 
Oh, so what room is this? So this is our medical treatment area. Oh, a medical treatment area. So this is where animals go to be taken care of if they're sick or they have, maybe they hurt themselves. What's wrong with her leg? So we rescued her with a broken leg. Aww. And yeah, now she has a cast on and she's healing. Oh, good. That must mean she's feeling better. She definitely is. Yeah, I can hear some purring in there. She's purring really loud. Yeah, cats purr when they're in a great mood, right? Aww. And why is she wearing a big yellow flower? She looks super cute, and yellow is one of my favorite colors. <laughs> so that's an e-collar, and it keeps her from taking her bandage off. Oh, that's so smart. And super cute. <laughs> Are there other cats that we can see? There are. Oh, let's go see some more cats. Feel better. Cool. Welcome to the catio. Get it? Cat, patio, it's the catio. <laughs> now they said that there are a lot of cats in here. Hmm, will you help me find them? <laughs> awesome. Okay, whoa, look at all this. It kind of looks like something you would see at a playground. The cats can climb up here and they can scratch. <laughs> Come over here. Shh. I see a cat. Can you see it? Oh, it's sleeping. We found our first cat. Good job. Hmm. Oh. There's another cat over here. You see it? Hi, cat. That cat looks really soft. <laughs> and there's another cat. Hi, kitty. Wow, so we found one, two, three cats so far. <laughs> wow. <laughs> hmm. Do you see any other cats? <gasps> Come down here, all the way to the floor. There are two cats in there. They're cuddling. I wonder if they're best friends. Oh. Hi. They're so cute. So we have one, two, three, four, five cats so far. I wonder if there's any more. Oh, wow. There's some water and some food in here. They take really good care of their cats. Hmm. Oh, look down here at these little boxes. I see some blankets in here so the cats can be nice and comfy cozy. Oh, and look, it's a cutout of a cat face. That's cool. I don't see any cats though, do you? Hmm. Oh, I see one right here. Oh my goodness. Shh. This cat is taking a cat nap. Whoa, it looks really comfortable. I wonder if cats have dreams. Hmm. So, one, two, three, four, five, six cats. We found six cats. Thanks for finding cats with me. I wonder what else is here. Come on. Check it out! I'm in a cat room! This is where all the cats are hanging out, relaxing like this one. Whoa, hi, I'm Mika. This room is so cool. There's a tree in here. Whoa, I bet the cats like to scratch on the tree. Maybe they scratch their back on there. Oh yeah! <laughs> Whoa, and cool thing is to climb on. Look, a little cat toy, a little mouse. <laughs> what else is over here? Whoa, do you know what this is? This long yellow tube? The cats can climb up here and then climb through the tube. Maybe you've done something like that at a playground before. They must have so much fun here. And in each little cubby is where the cat can go and have a little nap. Any cats in here? Oh, there's a cat in there. I didn't even know that. Hi. Oh, there's two.
two cats in there. I don't know if you can see. There's two cats just hanging out. Oh, a teddy bear. I wonder if cats like to cuddle with stuffed animals. That's so sweet. Aw. Well, I have a cat toy. Have you ever seen anything like this before? Let's see if some of these cats want to play with it, okay? Um, <laughs> anyone want to play with me today? What about you? <laughs> this cat's like, please don't bother me. I'm trying to take a nap right now. Okay, understood, understood. Okay, hey look, there's big bowls of water here because it's important for cats to hydrate, just like us. Hey, something else that they can climb on. And look, these little holes, these little hidey holes that they can just get all comfy. Cats seem to nap a lot. <laughs> hey, Megan. Hey. Oh my goodness. Who Come is this? One more friend for you to see. This oh is Memphis. Oh my gosh. Can I hold Memphis? Yes. He's eight weeks. Eight weeks? Just a little baby kitten. Wow, Memphis is brand new to the world. Aw. Wait, is Memphis from Memphis? Um, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't know how we got the name Memphis. Aw. It's a super cute name. So Memphis is only eight weeks old. What does Memphis usually do? Um, he plays with his two brothers. <gasps> You have two yeah, brothers? Yeah, two brothers. Oh, that's so fun. Wow, baby kittens are so teeny tiny. Aw, it's so nice meeting you, Memphis. Oh my goodness. You do such a good job taking care of all of these animals. Aw, thank you. Aw. <laughs> well, thanks for letting me hang out with you, Memphis. <laughs> that was so fun. Getting to hang out with dogs and cats today, we learned about how to take care of our pets and adopt them and make them part of our family. Oh, cats and dogs are so cool. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika, <laughs> well, thanks for learning with me. See you next time, bye. Hi, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at O2B Kids in Orlando, Florida. This place is really fun. They have games, they have dance classes, and I wanna learn some new dance moves. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mika. Hi, Mika, I'm Trudy. Welcome to O2B Kids, the new learning playground. Oh, thank you so much. So I wanna learn some new dance moves today. Mr. Christian is available for a dance lesson right now. Really? Where is it? You can head to the theater. Oh, let's go to the theater. <gasps> this is it, the theater. Oh, let's go inside. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> Amazing dance moves! Thank you. Hi, I'm Mika. Hi, I'm Mr. Christian. I'm the dance teacher here. <gasps> wow, a dance teacher? Could you give me a dance lesson? Sure, but first, what moves do you want to learn? Oh, I want to learn a hip hop move, a break dance move, and a ballet move. Awesome, awesome. But first, before we do that, we have to go warm up and stretch, okay? Oh yeah, makes sense. Where do we do that? Follow me. Oh, okay. Follow Mr. Christian. Oh, I'm so excited to get started. Me too. All right, first, we're going to warm up. Oh, it's so important to warm up your body before you dance Get your muscles loose and warmed up so you don't get hurt. Absolutely. All right, so first, we're going to run in place and count to eight. Oh, yeah. You count to eight in dance because you can easily break up the sections in music when you're learning dance moves. And you don't have to count too high. Absolutely. All right, ready? Okay. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Stop. Oh, I'm already awesome. warming up. Awesome, all right, so next thing, we're gonna do our pizza stretch, okay? I love pizza. Me too, okay? Okay. So we gotta go into our straddle, we're gonna sit on the ground, we're gonna go into our straddle, we're okay. gonna spread our legs out. All right, you can sit on the ground too. 
All right. And we're going to roll our dough out. So we roll our dough. And we're going to pat, 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 all around. Pat, 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 pat. There you go. And then we're going to pour our sauce all around. And then we're going to spread our sauce, spread our sauce. Awesome, awesome. And then we're going to sprinkle our cheese. Ooh. Our and cheese. if you're dairy free, you can use dairy free cheese. Cheese with no dairy. There you go. And then we're going to put our toppings. Ooh. I'm going to put chicken on mine because I okay, love chicken. Okay, I'm going to put some mushrooms and ooh, green pepper. Ooh, I'm going to put some pineapples on ooh. there. Mm -hmm. That sounds yummy. Yeah. All right, and then we're going to put our oven mittens on. Yep, okay. mm -hmm. protect Just, ourselves. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to take the pizza, we're going to put it in the oven. So we're going to open the oven door. Shh, shh. We're going to put the pizza in there. Shh, shh. We're going to close the door. Shh, shh. And then we're going to count to eight. Okay. Ready? We're going to go one, two, two three, three, four, four five, five, six, six seven, seven, eight. eight. Ding, 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 ding. It's ready. Fast cooking pizza. Yeah. So we're going to take it out, open the door. Shh, shh. Take out the pizza. Shh. All right, ready? And three, two, one. No, 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 and count yeah. to eight. One, One two, two, three, four, four five, six, six, seven, eight. eight. Yay! Wow. I feel really good now and warmed up. Awesome. I'm well, ready to dance. You ready? Let's mm -hmm. go. Okay, come on, let's go learn some dance moves. Whoa, we are in a real dance studio. This is awesome. I can't believe you are gonna teach me hip hop moves break dance moves, and ballet moves. You know a lot about dance. What do you love most about it? There's just so many things about dance I love, but a few things that I love are that I can use one side of my mind, which is the logic side, and the other side of my mind, which is the creative side, and put them together through my movements. Also that it's a form of self-expression. Oh, yeah. So you can really express yourself through the movements. And also it's a sense of community. It's really about love and sharing that with everyone. Oh, that's so cool. I also like to express myself through music and dance. It's such a fun way to just be yourself and let loose and have fun. Yeah. <laughs> and you especially do that in hip hop, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Oh, what are the hip hop moves we're gonna learn? Okay. So our first move is our step touch, step touch. Okay. And when we do that, we're gonna count to eight. Okay, oh, you yeah. ready? Count to eight, I remember. All right, so first we gotta step out with our right foot. Okay. One, and step together, two. Mm -hmm. And step out with your left, one. Step together, two. Ah, step And then repeat step that, yep. Touch, I get it. Yeah, there you go, <laughs> step touch, okay? So we're gonna do that a little faster. Okay. Okay, ready? Yep. Five, six, seven, eight. One. one. Two, two, three, four, five, six, six seven, eight. eight. Good job. Yeah, nice. <laughs> awesome. All right. So next, we're going to do the same thing. Okay. But we're going to add arms to make it look really cool. Whoa. You ready? Okay. All right. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, two three, four, four five, five, six, seven, eight. eight. Good job. Wow, that did look yeah. cool. <laughs> awesome. All right, so after that, we're gonna do our top rock. And our top rock is a really cool move because it's their basic move for break dancing. Okay, so we are learning a basic move of break dance. So yeah. awesome. <laughs> okay, so first, you're gonna take your right arm. Okay. So right hand over, and then your left hand under. Ooh. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna step out with your right foot, and okay. your heels gonna point up to the sky. And then our arms are gonna go out like you're about to give a big hug. Oh yeah, big yeah. hug. Okay, and then we're gonna repeat it to the other side. We're gonna step out with the right. We're gonna, put, we're gonna switch our hands over, left over, right under. And then we're gonna kick out with our left foot and our toes point up at the sky again. And we're gonna make a big hug one more time. Ah, Ooh, big hug. There you go, good job. Nice. You think we can do a little faster? Yeah, let's try right. it. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, two three. three. 
four, five, six, six seven, eight. Yes, good job. Good. Thank yeah. you. All right, and our next move is to make it a little more flavor and Ooh, put our fruit on it. Yes. We're gonna do a crisscross. You criss ready? Crisscross. What's that? Okay. So it's pretty, pretty simple. Okay. So your feet are kind of shoulder width apart. Okay. And think of it like a scissor. Okay. okay. You're like you're chopping paper. Okay. You know. So you're gonna go cross with your right over your left. I know it's a little confusing, but we'll go through very slow. Okay. okay. We're gonna go right foot. Shoo. Shoo. And we're gonna cross. Shoo. Oh, it is like yeah. scissors. Like and you're cutting yeah. paper. Exactly. Shoo. And then we're gonna switch it to switch feet. So you're gonna go left or right. Ready? Mm -hmm. Five, six, seven, eight. And switch. Yeah, there you go. Do a little faster. Okay. All right, ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. Thank you. That's awesome. All right. After that, we're gonna move into our ballet. Oh, yeah, I really love that ballet. Yeah. Yeah. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our feet together. Okay. Okay. And we're gonna put our heels turned out. Okay, you see your toes, our heels are kissing each other and going, okay. mwah. Awesome. And we're gonna put our arms into our beach ball like this. Okay. Ooh, mm -hmm. All right. And we're gonna count, we're gonna count to eight one more time. So we're gonna go one, two, two three, four, four five, five, six, six seven, seven eight. eight. Good job. Okay. Awesome. And that is called our plie. Oh, and that means to bend in French. There you go. So we're gonna do it just a little bit faster. Is that okay? Okay. All right. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job. Great. Thank you. Awesome. Okay. And then to add a little more spice flavor to Love our it. ballet, uh -huh. we're going to do some tendus, okay? Oh, and tendu means to stretch in French. There you go. So we're going to do our tendus to the side. We're going to start on our right side. We're going to do it four times. And we're going to go one, with our right toe out, uh -huh. and we're just gonna bring it in. Boop, boop. One more time. Out, boop. Bring it in. Boop. Out, boop. Out. Bring it in. Boop. In. Out. Out. In. In. Good job. Thank you. You're welcome. And now we're gonna go to the other side, okay? Okay. So our hands are still on your hips like this. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna go out with your left foot. Out. And then bring it. And you're gonna go out. Out. And bring it. In. And go out, bring it, out, bring it. Oh, Good job. Thank you. Wow. Can we do a little faster? Yeah, let's try right. it. Ready? Okay. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yay! Good job. Thank you for teaching me all of those moves. Of course, of course. Are you ready to put it on all together? I think so. All right. It's going to be a little faster. It might be a little challenging, but I think we can do it. I think so too. All right. You ready? Yep. All right. We're going to start with the step touch. You ready? Yes. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Arms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Eight. Top rock. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. eight. Crisscross. Two, Ooh, three, four, dance it out. five, six, seven. Eight. Crisscross. Criss two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Plie. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Time to two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job. Oh, I have an idea. Okay. After that, can we freestyle and express ourselves however we want? Absolutely. That's the point of dance. Absolutely. Oh, awesome. I think I'm ready to do a performance. <gasps> I'm so excited. I can't wait. Okay. All right. Let's do let's it. Let's do it. Okay. Let's do it. You lead the way. All right. Let's go. <laughs> Come on. Introducing the wonderful, talented, and unique Mika. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Hello. <sighs> My name is Mika.
Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, that was so good. Oh, thank you for teaching me all of those new dance moves. Of course, it's my pleasure. Oh, you're a great teacher. Oh, thanks. Well, I'll see you later. All right, thanks, Mr. Christian. You're see welcome. ya. Bye. Wow, we had so much fun today and really learned a lot. We learned about warming up our bodies and staying loose when we learn new dance moves. And speaking of dance moves, we learn new hip hop moves, break dance moves, and ballet moves. And we did a great job counting to eight. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <sighs> awesome. M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. All right, we'll see you next time. Keep dancing. <laughs> Whoa, this is so cool. I can't believe I'm driving a real race car. Yeah. Vroom, vroom. Race car Mika coming down the track. Look at this stadium, it's so big! Can you guess where I am today? <laughs> Hi, I'm in Daytona Beach, Florida at the Daytona International Speedway! Do you know what a big event takes place here? I'll give you a hint. <laughs> it's a world famous race with lots of fast cars. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Check out this track. That's where all the cars drive during the race. It's 2.5 miles long. That's about 400 school buses. It would take me 4,400 cartwheels to make it around the whole track. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. Here I go. Woo! One, two, three. That's a lot of cartwheels. I have an idea. You wanna go in the garage with me and see a lot of fast cars? Okay, buckle up. Click, click, let's go! <gasps> Check it out! It's a real race car! Whoa! And look, it's one of my favorite colors. Purple! <laughs> it matches me so well. I hope I get to drive a real race car later. But let's check out this car. Hey, there's some more colors up here. Yellow, red, and blue. Those are primary colors. And look, do you know what this number is? <laughs> yeah, it's number 23. Whoa! And look at these tires. Whoa! Do you know what shape this is? <laughs> it's a circle, round just like a bagel or a donut or the sun. <laughs> Do you want to pretend to be a race car driver with me? <gasps> okay, friend, buckle up. <gasps> See you later. <laughs> Whoa, it's Amber Balkin. Hey, Amber. Hi. I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Mika. <laughs> I hear you're the first Canadian female to win a NASCAR sanctioned race. That's true. Whoa. Do you have any other career accomplishments you're particularly proud of? Well, I hope to make history this weekend by becoming the first female to ever win an art national ARCA race. <laughs> Whoa. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> How did you get into NASCAR driving? So I've actually been going to the racetrack since I've been in my mom's belly. So I've been at the racetrack for a long time. I actually got started in go-karts where most kids start racing. Wow, and what are your favorite things about being a driver? Well, I love going fast. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's definitely my favorite. <laughs> How fast do you go? So this weekend we'll be going 183 mile an hour. Whoa, that's <laughs> so fast. It's very fast. How do you prepare for a race? Well, I make sure I drink lots of water, lots of good food. Mm -hmm. I train really hard during the week and make sure I study hard too. <laughs> You're very prepared, Amber. <laughs>
Is that your car? Yeah, that's my race car. Do you want to see it? Yes, please. Okay. So, Mika, this is my crew chief, Dave. He makes the car go really fast. Hey, Dave. I'm Mika. I'm Dave. Nice to meet you. <laughs> it takes a good team to be a race car driver, right? It does. It takes a lot of us. What is this tool you're using? This is a 916 wrench. It's one of the most common wrenches we use on a race car. Whoa, can you make that sound again? <laughs> that sounds so cool. What other tools do you use? We have a jack. This is what we use to put the race car on the scale. <laughs> Hi, Jack. <laughs> we use the scales to weigh the car. We can, we can change the weight on all four corners of the car at the tires oh. to make the car go faster and handle better. So we To and... make my job easier. <laughs> oh, yes, that's what a good team does. Yeah. <laughs> and how come there's no door? OK, so we don't run a door. We have a door, but we don't have a door handle. Oh. The door doesn't open. It's just permanently affixed to the fender in, in, in the quarter panel. Well, how do so you get in? I actually get in by jumping through the window. Wow! Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Can you show me more of your car? Well, certainly. We have numbers to identify as we go around the racetrack. That helps me know when Amber's going by. It helps all the fans and, and friends to know this is Amber's race car. Whoa! Do you know what number that is? <laughs> yeah, number 15. <laughs> now, if you come around the car, you'll see they look what? like lights, uh -huh. but they're just decals. Whoa. They actually don't work but we give them the appearance that they're real. There are no blinkers There's in this There's no type blinkers of race or no brake lights or anything on a race car. They're just stickers? They're just stickers. Well, how do the other drivers know when you're gonna stop? They don't. They don't. This is a spoiler. Uh-huh. Mom and dad's car probably does not have a spoiler no, on it. I haven't seen one of these before. But this spoiler gives a lot of downforce to give Amber a lot of comfort when she's going into the corner. Downforce? A lot of, it makes a lot of pressure onto the four tires to hold the race car into the ra onto the racetrack. Oh, it makes wow. it go faster. Oh, and you love going fast. I love going fast. <laughs> is there any other way a race car is different from a regular car? Bodies are all fiberglass as opposed to metal. OK. There's only one seat, so unfortunately, I couldn't take you in my race car. Oh, that's OK. <laughs> and to keep her safe as we come around the race car, She has a radio in her car, but it's not a radio to listen to music. If someone breaks, uh -huh. he'll, he'll say, uh-oh, big crash up ahead, oh. watch out. And so that's when I know. Like, Amber, Amber, look ahead. Yeah. Look ahead, exactly, <laughs> that exactly. That is so cool, Dave. So to keep her safe, uh -huh. she's, got, she's got her seat, custom, custom fit to her, but we don't have a window on the driver's side of the car. Oh, what's that? We have a window net. Oh, a window net. And what this, it, see it looks just like a net. And this net goes up in here and it gets tight. It's to keep things from going in the car and, and hitting her, but allowing fresh air in, in, into the race car. Because it gets really hot in the race car. Oh, I bet. To help keep her cool. Wow, that is incredible. Thank you so much for showing me your car. You're welcome. That was so cool. <laughs> Very welcome. Hey, do you see that ladder in that platform? <laughs> yeah, someone stands there during the race and waves these flags. Green means go! <laughs> Yellow means caution! Slow down! <laughs> Red means stop! <laughs> and the checkered flag means the race is over! <laughs> yeah! Okay, now that I've learned about the cars and the drivers and the track, I think I'm ready to try driving! Woo! Look! <laughs> it's the real race car I get to drive, number 43. But first thing first, Safety first. See you soon. Woohoo! I have my helmet and my safety suit, and I'm all ready to go. Are you ready? I know I am. Let's do it. Woo! This is going to be so cool. Steering wheel. I'm ready. This is so cool. I can't believe 
I'm driving a real race car. Yeah! Vroom, vroom. Race car Mika coming down the track. <laughs> believe how fast I'm going. Oh, whoa, this is so fast. <laughs> ah, whoa, that was amazing. Did you see me? I was going so fast. Woo! <laughs> that was one of the coolest things I've ever done. Whoa! That was an awesome day. I love climbing through the window and going so fast in a real race car. Meeting the pit crew was pretty cool too. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. <laughs> Can you spell my name with me? Awesome. <gasps> M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. Okay, little race car drivers, see you later. And today we're at the Kennedy Space Center in Merritt Island, Florida. We are going to explore space junk, space rockets, and have so much fun. Will you come with me? Well, let's go. Hey, check it out. A rocket garden. Do you know what a rocket is? It's a vehicle that launches stuff into space so that we can learn about other planets and galaxies and stars. Hey, will you count the rockets with me? Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And do you see the big one laying on its side? Nine, there are nine rockets. Hey, let's get a closer look, come on. rocket right here. Can you see it? It's called the Delta II. Isn't that a cool color blue? Whoa, this rocket has gone to space over 150 times. That's a lot of times. And if you look at the top, you can see the American flag. And if you look even higher, it has a shark face. <laughs> Isn't that so funny? It's a shark rocket. Wow, gone to space a lot. That's a hard working shark rocket. <laughs> Let's keep exploring. Come on. Wow, the space shuttle Atlantis. Let's go inside and get a closer look. Come on. Whoa, look at this. <laughs> wow. is the Space Shuttle Atlantis. This space shuttle has been to space multiple times. And it's the last space shuttle that's been to space. And we're in the same room with it. How cool is that? Oh, come over here. You see the front part? It kind of looks like an airplane, but it's not a plane. It flies, but it goes all the way to space. And it's called the Flight Deck. Astronauts can sit in there, and there's all kinds of buttons and controls so that they can navigate through space. You know what's really cool and what really helps them navigate? Do you see those white holes? It's kind of hard to see. Well, those holes track stars. They're called the star trackers. Have you ever looked up into the night sky and looked at stars? Can you imagine if you looked up and saw a space shuttle Whoa, that would be amazing. Wow, it's so cool to look at. There's a lot of different shapes. I see a red triangle up there. Circles, squares. It kind of looks like a puzzle. Huh. Wow, let's keep going. Whoa, 
check this out. It's a live video of the Space Shuttle Atlantis. We can get a little more information. Here, let me move it so you can see it a little better. Is that good? All right. Hmm, what should we learn about? Ooh, it's mid-deck. What happens in there, I wonder? Oh, this is where the astronauts do their cooking and eating and sleeping. They actually make food and sleep and live on the shuttle just like you do at home. That's so cool. And, oh, the flight deck. There's some astronauts right there. View features, yes please. Whoa, see that's inside. You can see the seats where the astronauts sit and there's controllers and buttons and switches so that the commander and the pilot can control and steer the space shuttle. Whoa, I cannot imagine sitting in a space shuttle and not pressing all of those buttons. <laughs> That would be really hard to do. Wow. Hey, do you want to get a closer look of a flight deck? Well, let's blast off and go. Ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> Welcome to the flight deck. Oh, there's a lot to look at, isn't there? Well, the front part is called the forward station. And the back part is called the aft station. And aft means rear, so the back. Wow. I think I'm gonna sit down. Oh. Whoa. Okay, look at me. I'm Pilot Mika. Pilot Mika, getting ready to go on a mission. Let's go on this flight together. <laughs> Ooh, I can press all of these buttons because it's just pretend it's not real. So let me just get that uh, ADI landing gear, get the nose in place. Check the cabin, enable, pencil, one, two, three, power on, power on, power on, power on, power on. Here we go! Whoa. I can see so many stars! Whoa! Being a pilot of a space shuttle is really fun! <laughs> Whoa, there's more buttons back here! It must take a long time to learn what all of these buttons and controls and knobs mean. I wonder how long it takes an astronaut to learn what every little button is for. Whoa. Huh. Kind of looks like something you would use on a video game. And there's a whole other side. Look at these screens. There's lots of numbers on these screens. Look, oil, fuel. What happens if the space shuttle runs out of gas? Are there space gas stations? <laughs> Whoa! There's more stars over there. Wow! Oh, I think we're coming in for a landing. Everyone hold on tight. We're here. We landed nice and safe. Thank you, Pilot Mika. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> hey, up here. <laughs> Ready? Three, two, one. Blast off! Woo! <laughs> that was really fast and really fun. Whoa. Hey, now we're at the bottom of the Space Shuttle Atlantis. This is really neat. We were able to see the top, and now we're at the bottom. Whoa, look at the wing. It's really, really big. Have you ever made a paper airplane? You know how when you make a paper airplane, you can make it to go really fast, or really slow, or really high, or really low, depending on how you fold the paper and make the wings? Well, engineers had to work really hard to figure out how to make wings that would soar into space. This is a delta wing. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> oh, come down here. That's 
says, United States. And the United States flag is right there. See? Red, white, and blue. <laughs> Whoa, come look at this. Whoa, do you know what this is? This is a smaller version of the space shuttle Atlantis. See, it's right there. It even says Atlantis under that American flag. So see the orange part in the middle right there? That is the external tank. And that's what holds all of the fuel to help the space shuttle go into space. And there's two rockets on the side. Will you count them with me? One, two, two rockets. And these rockets are rocket boosters to help the space shuttle boost into space like this. Three, two, one. <laughs> Let's look over here. Whoa. I bet you've seen these before, but way smaller. Yeah, and they're really big tires. And these tires right here actually went to space. <laughs> See? The picture right here? There's three sets of landing gear on a space shuttle, each with two tires. <laughs> Learning about space is so fun. Come on. how big this telescope is. Have you ever seen a telescope this big before? <laughs> this is the Hubble Space Telescope. Do you know what a telescope is? It's a device that allows you to see things really far away. So, oh, like I can see the Space Shuttle Atlantis way over there. <laughs> but this one is massive and it's orbited over 300 miles from Earth, allowing us to see images of space. <laughs> In fact, this telescope has sent hundreds of thousands of images of space back to Earth. That way we can see what space looks like. And see these things on the side? They kind of look like wings, but they're solar panels. They attract the sunlight and then turns it into usable energy. This is the coolest telescope I have ever seen. <laughs> I love space. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> I'm a space shuttle. <laughs> I was so much fun today learning about space shuttles and space rockets, especially the space shuttle Atlantis. We got to go really close to a real space shuttle that went to space. What an amazing day. Thanks for learning with me. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Great. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. Well, I'll see you next time. I'm blasting off. Three, two, one. Hi, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at the American Museum of Natural History in New York City. Do you know what's inside of this museum? All different kinds of animals and dinosaurs. And I heard that they have one of my favorite dinosaurs, a T-Rex. Do you know what a T-Rex looks like? I have one in my jam pack. Whoa, here it is. <laughs> hey, will you come with me and see if we can find a T-Rex inside? Let's go! Whoa, I'm inside of the museum. I can't wait to find the T-Rex. Whoa, that is definitely not the T-Rex. Do you know what that is? It's a blue whale. Oh, and look, I see a bandage on that whale. <laughs> Even whales get boo-boos. <laughs> Did you know that the blue whale is the biggest animal on the planet? It's so cool. Oh, I see someone over there who works at the museum. I bet they have more whale facts. Come on. Oh, hi. Hello. I'm Mika, what's your name? Alexandra. Hi, Alexandra. So I bet you know something about the blue whale. Yes. You do, what do you do here? I'm an educator. Oh, an educator, so yeah, you definitely know. Um, what do blue whales eat? 
blue whales eat tiny krill. Whoa! Look at these tiny shrimps. Can you believe a big blue whale likes to eat these tiny little shrimps? <laughs> <laughs> wow, well, do blue whales have teeth like us? No, they don't have teeth. They have baleen. Baleen? Oh, whoa, it feels like straw. Can you imagine if you had straw in your mouth instead of teeth? Ugh, <laughs> so how do they eat? They open up their mouth. Okay. Very, very big. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. They take a gulp of water. <gasps> Put krill in it. Mm -hmm. Then they push the water out with their tongue. And what's inside? The krill. Mm. Mm. Cool. <laughs> that seems really complicated. That is not how I eat at all. Wow. And what is that? It looks like a big bone. This is a part of the well vertebrae. The vertebrae. Well, mm -hmm. we have those. You can yeah. feel it in your back. Yeah. Can I hold it? Yes, sure. Whoa. Oh, this is so heavy. Look how big this is. Ours are so tiny. Blue whales are huge. <laughs> okay, here, I'll give that back to you. you. Wow, well, thanks for sharing those facts with us. I'm gonna keep exploring, but maybe I'll see you later. See you later. All right, awesome, <laughs> come on. Where is the T-Rex? Where, where is the T-Rex? Whoa. That is not the T-Rex. But it is a very large mammal. Do you know what it is? It's a walrus. Oh, not a real walrus, this is just a model. But this looks pretty much exactly like a real walrus. Whoa, do you see those big tusks? They're made out of ivory and they're really strong and really sharp. And that one looks like the size of my arm, maybe even bigger. Look. Can you imagine if you had something that big hanging out of your mouth? Could you even find a toothpick big enough to clean that thing? <laughs> they can use them when they're in the water to poke into the ice and pull their bodies up. Very helpful. <laughs> Will you act like a walrus with me? Okay, get your tusk out. <clears throat> Let's keep looking for the T-Rex. <clears throat> walrus out. <clears throat> You're so funny. That's why you are my favorite dinosaur. <laughs> oh, hey! I'm still trying to find the T-Rex, but I don't see any dinosaurs anywhere. <laughs> Let's keep looking over here. Maybe we can find something. <gasps> Whoa! Gorillas! <gasps> Gorillas are super cool. They're really big, they're really strong, they're hairy. They can stand up tall just like humans. But the male gorilla is 10 times stronger than a human. That's pretty strong. <laughs> Will you act like a gorilla with me? All right, let me see your muscles. Pound your chest. Let's keep looking for more animals. Whoa, yeah, I feel strong just acting like a gorilla. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. See in the back there? A giraffe. Giraffes are so tall. They can get up to 18 feet tall. That's really, 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 really tall. And they have super long black tongues. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Do you know what that animal is? That's right, a zebra. Zebras are awesome. They have black and white stripes and a group of zebras is called a dazzle. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Check out that dazzle of zebra over there. <laughs> they run super fast and they can run in zigzags. Will you zigzag with me? All right, let's go. Run in zigzag. <laughs> Whoa, elephants are so big, so they have to eat a lot of food. Actually, most of their day is filled with eating. They're orbivores, so they're vegetarians. They don't eat meat. Wow, and look, big tusks, just like those walruses. <laughs> hey, will you act like an elephant with me? Get your trunk out. Ready? <laughs> Maybe you can stomp like an elephant. <gasps> really 
really big cats are lions. I love lions because they have really big roars. Kind of like the T-Rex. <laughs> See that one with the mane, all of the hair? That's a male lion. That's how you know, because it has a mane. The other lions that don't have manes are females. And a group of lions is called a pride. <laughs> I still don't see any dinosaurs though. Will you keep looking with me? All right, come on. <gasps> wow, we're in the dinosaur room. There has to be a T-Rex here, right? Rawr. That means yes. <laughs> Let's keep looking. Oh, there's a dinosaur over there. Ah, oh, long tail, lots of teeth, but that's pretty small. A T-Rex is way bigger than that dinosaur. It's almost as little as this toy dinosaur. Hello. <laughs> hmm. Oh, look at this dinosaur. Whoa, it has a long neck. Its head is going back really far. Oh, I wonder if it's a dancing. <laughs> nice moves. But not a T-Rex. Hmm. I can't see the T-Rex anywhere. Do you see a T-Rex? Looks like this, big head, so many teeth, really big talons. <sighs> it's right there, the T-Rex, my favorite dinosaur. <gasps> Whoa, look how big the head is. See those big jaws with tons of teeth? Wow, they're so sharp and there's so many of them. Did you know that the T-Rex could have up to 50 to 60 teeth in its mouth? That's a lot of teeth. <laughs> Whoa, you can see the whole body of the T-Rex. The head, the ribs, the big legs, the big feet. Roar, roar. <laughs> oh, hello. Hi. Hi, I'm Mika, what's your name? Hi, my name is Alana. Hi, Alana, what do you do here? I'm a museum educator. Whoa, a museum educator, so you must know a lot about dinosaurs. I do. Oh, cool, well, I'm really excited because my favorite dinosaur is the T-Rex. I really like the T-Rex also. Oh yeah? Well, yeah, what's one of the reasons you love the T-Rex? I like the T-Rex because it was one of the biggest predators. Wow, I know, it's very cool, the T-Rex is Huge, has a really big head and legs and a really big tail. You know, they use that big tail to help them balance. Oh yeah, that's right, because their heads are really heavy, right? Really big heads. Yeah, so the tail helps them balance. Like that. You know what else <laughs> I like about the T-Rex? What? Look at this big foot here. Whoa, is this a real foot of a T-Rex? This is a model. Okay, okay. But this is like an exact replica. Yeah, you can see how big it was. Whoa, am I allowed to touch it? You can touch it. Okay. Wow, look at these toenails. <laughs> They're so big and pointy. So they had three big toes uh -huh. on their back foot. You know what else I like about the T-Rex? What? How big their teeth were. Oh yeah, they have really big teeth. Look at this. <gasps> Whoa. Look how big this tooth is. This is a model of a real T-Rex tooth. Wow, can you imagine if your teeth were this big? Look, is it the same? <laughs> That's really big. What do you think they might have liked to eat with a tooth this big? Oh, probably meat, yeah. right? They were carnivores. Oh, so they were meat eaters. Cool, cool. and what's this? It looks like a big rock. It is a rock, except it's a very special rock. Oh, why? This is a fossil of a dinosaur bone. A real dinosaur a bone? A real dinosaur bone. Would you like to touch it? Yes, please. It's heavy. Okay. Well, let's see. Let's see. Okay. All right, it's a little heavy, but it's a real fossil of a dinosaur bone. That's amazing. And what part of the dinosaur is this? That was from their leg or their thigh bone. Oh, so like down here. Right there. Wow, that's amazing. Thanks for sharing this with me. Yeah. So is the T-Rex the biggest dinosaur? It wasn't the biggest dinosaur, but this museum has a model of one of the biggest dinosaurs. What, can we see it? You wanna go see it? Yeah. Let's go. All right, come on. Wow. Whoa, it's so big. Whoa. It keeps going and going and going. 
This is called a titanosaur. Titanosaur, wow, it's really cool. So the titanosaur family was a group of dinosaurs that were sauropods and herbivores. Oh, I know what a sauropod is. That means it walked on four feet. That's right. Ooh. <laughs> and an herbivore means that it was a plant eater. That's right. Yeah, very neat. Now this titanosaur is over 120 feet long. Whoa, or 37 meters. <laughs> That's and, really long. And it weighed almost as much as 10 elephants. Whoa, 10 elephants. That's very, very heavy. Wow. But you know what's cool about this one? This one was just a juvenile, which means it's kind of like a teenager. Whoa, so it's not even fully grown? It gets bigger than this? It does. Wow, that's incredible. Thank you so much for showing me, th showing me this titanosaur. I had fun with you. I have to go teach a class. Oh, but I'll see you soon. Okay, see ya, thanks again. Wow, what a fun day. We got to see so many cool animals like that big blue whale and walruses and lions. And we got to see my favorite dinosaur of all time, the T-Rex. <laughs> Did you have a fun day? <laughs> Me too. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to have more fun and see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. <laughs> all right, we'll see you next time. <laughs> hey, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at Children's Fairyland in Oakland, California. And I'm riding the Wonder Go Round. Woohoo! Giddy up! <laughs> Do you want to meet some of my friends? All right, let's go. This is the Dodo. Hello, Dodo. Hello, Mika. Oh. <laughs> oh, and this is the Mad Hatter. <laughs> oh, and the Griffin. I love the Griffin's purple wings. And this, I bet you recognize this animal. See those tusks? It's the walrus. Hello, walrus. Hello, Mika. <laughs> I really want to go on my own adventure. Will you come with me? All right, giddy up. Let's go. Woo <laughs> Whoa. Check out this giant blue whale. This is Willy the Whale, to be exact. Hi, Willy the Whale. I'm Mika, nice to meet ya. <laughs> Big blue whales are really cool and they're the biggest mammal on the planet. Whoa, hey Willie, do you mind if I come inside? All right, let's go. Wow, look, there is a note inside of Willie's mouth and it says, Mika, <laughs> that's me. Okay. <clears throat> Your Storyland adventure starts here. So get up and on your feet. Use your five senses to explore Fairyland. You'll make friends and find a yummy treat. Oh, I love making new friends and I really like treats. This is gonna be so much fun. Okay, five senses. That's seeing, smelling, hearing, touch, and taste. So we will see with our eyes and we'll smell with our noses and hear. Oh, can you hear any sounds? Oh, did you hear that? <laughs> and there's taste with your mouth and touch with your hands, with your skin. Oh, this is gonna be really, really fun. I just know it. Hey, let's swim like whales on out of here. Ready? something fun to feel, and that's one of our senses. Okay, let's see. I wonder if the water is hot or cold. Let's touch it and find out. Whoa, it's very, very cold. Wow, but hey, that's one of our senses. 
I touched the water. <laughs> well, that water would not be fun for me to swim in, but a big whale would love to swim in that cold water. Can you think of other animals that like to swim in cold water? Maybe a seal? <laughs> or a walrus? Or a penguin! Let's waddle like penguins out of here and find some other things. Waddle, waddle, waddle. Waddle, waddle, waddle. Waddle, waddle, waddle. Waddle, waddle, waddle. Waddle, waddle. Do you hear that? Quack, quack. Yeah, I hear a duck. Wow, so we used feeling and now we're using hearing. That's two senses. Do you see any ducks? Back there, on the other side of the water. I see one, two, three ducks. Hey, and they're hanging out around Rapunzel's tower. Hi, Rapunzel. See, she's at the very top and her hair's so long. It goes all the way down to the bottom of the tower. <laughs> oh, and hey, it's Mr. Todd, the fox from Tales of Beatrix Potter. Hi, it's me, Mika, do you remember? It was a long time ago, it's okay. <laughs> oh man, ducks are so cool. Did you know that they eat seeds and fruit and worms? <laughs> oh, but remember, do not feed ducks without getting permission. <laughs> I'll see you later, ducks. Let's see what else we can find. Come on. Quack, quack. Hey, we already used two of our senses, feeling and hearing. I wonder if we can smell anything. Let's try. Actually, I smell something really good. I bet it's these flowers. Let's see. Oh yeah, they smell so good. Did you know that flowers smell good to attract pollinators like butterflies, hummingbirds, even ladybugs and bumblebees? Yeah. They're attracted to the flower, so they'll fly over and get some pollen on them and then fly to another flower and spread that pollen around, which plants more seeds, which creates more plants for all of us. So thank you, pollinators. <laughs> hey, I wonder if we can see anything. Let me go into my jam pack and get my <laughs> binoculars. Ooh, I see a tunnel over there. Let's go check it out. Come on. Where is that tunnel? Oh, <laughs> look at that silly clock. It's going the opposite direction. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> All right, where is the tunnel? I see it. <laughs> and I also see... <gasps> The White Rabbit from the book Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> the White Rabbit is always in a hurry. And look, there's a little clock right there in its pocket. Hi, White Rabbit, I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Should we hop in the tunnel together? Okay, ready? Three, two, one, hop. Hey, I see giant playing cards. Seeing? is another sense. We explored feeling, smelling, and hearing, and now we can explore seeing. Ooh, you wanna check out these cards with me? Come on. Whoa, I see the letter A. And do you know what shape this is? Yeah, it's a heart. And there's a big, giant heart right there. Oh, it's like it's singing. Yes, I have a giant heart. That is so sweet. Oh, look at this one. I see the number two, that's right. And do you know what shape this is? That's a spade. Correct, Mika, that is a spade. Oh, I thank you so much. Oh, and I see the number four. Do you know what shape this is? It's a diamond, cool. Yes, a diamond is my favorite shape. Oh, good to know. <laughs> Whoa, I see something really cool over there. Do you wanna check it out with me? 
Well, let's go! Whoa! Do you see what's behind me? Giant apples! Look! There's a red one and a green one! Oh, and this one has a worm inside! Hi, worm! It's me, Mika! <laughs> you know, red apples usually taste sweet and green apples usually taste a little sour. <gasps> hey, taste! That's the fifth sense! We explored all five senses. Oh, that means that I get a treat! Will you help me look for it? Okay, let's go! Oh, excuse me, have you seen a treat for Mika? Something yummy you can eat like a mm -mm. Okay, no, all right. Treat! Oh boy! Wow! It's a cupcake! Check it out! With yummy icing on it. Ooh! Oh, and a note. Let's see here. Oh, it says for Mika. <laughs> That's me. Great job exploring your five senses and finishing your adventure. Enjoy this yummy treat. Hope you had fun. Your friend Blippi. <laughs> Blippi is such a great friend. He knows that I like playing games and eating yummy treats. <laughs> hey, we explored all five senses. Seeing, hearing, feeling, smelling, tasting. Oh, now I get to taste the cupcake. Let's see here. Mmm, it's so good. Hey, we did it. We did it. We never, ever quit it. We did it! We did it! We never ever quit it! <laughs> what a fun day we had! We went on a really cool adventure using our five senses. Oh, thank you so much for playing and learning with me. I loved learning that the blue whale is the biggest mammal on the planet! Oh, it must take up so much space in the ocean. <laughs> Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. All right, I'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs> Hi, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at Bubble Pop in Orange County, California. Have you ever played with bubbles before? They're so much fun! Maybe you've used a wand and blew bubbles into the air. Or maybe you've taken a bubble bath. <laughs> it's so fun! Well, at Bubble Pop, we get to play with bubbles all day long. Will you play with me? Oh, let's go! Whoa! Check it out! Bubbles! And... Hey! Do you know what this is? <laughs> a bubble wand! Whoa, and this one has a lot of circles on it. I wonder if that means it will make a ton of bubbles. Let's find out. Okay, get some solution on there. <gasps> huh. I'll just try again. <laughs> I only got two out. Do you hear that? There's air blowing out from these two places here. That must mean if I take the bubble solution, put it on the wand, and then put it on the fan. <laughs> That's so cool. Let's do it again. Whoa, <laughs> look how many bubbles. Hey, here's another bubble wand. It looks just like this one, but there's something different. <laughs> That's right. There's a yellow circle right here in the middle. Hello. All right, let's try this one. <gasps> Whoa, even more bubbles. Wonder if I could do two at the same time. <laughs> okay. Three, two, one. Whoa, so many bubbles. Whoa, I'm going to do it again. Three, two, one. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> Wait a second. I have an idea. Check this out. 
see there's a bunch of squares in here. Kind of looks like a big waffle. What would happen if I put some bubble solution on this and put it on the fan? Ready? Three, two, one. Wow! It kind of looks like the bubbles you would see when you're getting a bubble bath. I'm gonna do it again. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> Bubbles are so much fun. I wonder what else we can do here. Come on. Whoa, look, even more bubbles. Whoa, but check out this bubble wand. It's a big yellow circle. One of my favorite colors. <laughs> See if I can make a bubble. Whoa. <laughs> oh, I caught it. <laughs> Do it again. <gasps> Whoa, that was a big bubble. <laughs> oh, hi. Hi. I'm Teresa from Bubble Pop. Hi, Teresa. I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. Hi, Mika. I'm so glad that you're playing with our bubbles. Yeah. Can I show you some bubble tricks? Oh, yes, please. All Let's right. see. So I saw you making a bubble. Uh huh. All right. So we're gonna make the bubble kind of like you just did and then catch it just like you Ooh. did. Whoa. Whoa, you have three <laughs> or more bubbles on your wand. Check it out. <gasps> Our bubbles came together what? and made a huge one. Whoa. <laughs> wow, bubbles All are right. awesome. What is a bubble? Well, I'm glad you asked, Mika, because you can see right here. See this film mm -hmm. on the wand? Yeah, it's like shiny. Yeah, it's our bubble solution. So usually bubble solutions are made of soap and water mm -hmm. and usually something else that's a polymer that will bind everything together. Water molecules love each other so much. They like to just hold hands and be really tight. And so they squeeze the soap molecule together. And that's why there's a thin film here that makes your bubble. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. And when they do that, it's called cohesion. Cohesion. Yep, and that's what makes the bubble hold together just like this. Wow. <laughs> All right, you ready to do a bubble trick? Yeah. Okay, so because bubbles love each other so much, the water molecules inside a bubble, we can actually create a bubble inside this bubble. How? You wanna try it with me? Yeah. So I want you to blow very short first inside the bubble. <gasps> Whoa, do you see that? There's little bubbles in the really big bubble. Whoa! Whoa, <laughs> can I do that even in this little bubble? I think you can. Oh, I see a baby one. Yeah, <laughs> there's a tiny one right there. So instead of blowing bubbles inside a bubble, something else that cohesion allows us to do is put a bubble on any surface that we want to. Oh, okay. Like how about your hand? You want to try to catch one <gasps> yes, in your hand? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so I will make a bubble for okay. you, and then you try to catch it with your hand. All righty. I'm going to catch that bubble. Ooh, oh, that it was popped. So close. <laughs> it did pop. <laughs> so the most important thing about cohesion is that you need water molecules together, right? Is your, oh. Let me see your hand. It's oh, just it was, a little wet. It was kind of dry. Yeah. Let's try it with a bunch of water molecules on it and then they can link together. Woo, okay. Get all the solution on my hands. Yes. I'm ready to catch this bubble. Okay, I am going to throw one at you. Oh, you did it, you caught it. I caught a bubble. Wow, that's Hello. so cool. Let me see if I can even pop it, but I wet my hand. So I think the water is gonna like each other <gasps> and I can put my hand in what? Inside your bubble. Teresa, you're a bubble magician. Whoa. <laughs> was that cool? That was amazing. Do you want to see other cool bubble tricks? Yes, I do. Okay, come on, let's go. Right, come with us. Mika, wow. let me show you this oh. phantom bubble station. Phantom bubble station? Yes. Do you oh. remember before how we made a bubble with just air in it? Mm hmm All right, well, this one, we're going to make a bubble, but it's going to be filled with something besides 
air. Oh, what is it gonna be filled with? Do you know what dry ice is, Mika? Yeah. <laughs> so dry ice is made of carbon dioxide, which is already in our air. We would just breathe it normally. But what they do is they make it really, really tight so that it can get things really, really cold. Oh, and way colder than the ice you would find in your refrigerator. Yeah, that's right. It's negative 100 <sighs> degrees Fahrenheit. That's super cold. In fact, it's so cold, it's not really safe to touch. Mm -mm. So we never want to touch it. So what we do is we keep it nice and safe inside here. Mm -hmm. But what comes out is the sublimated form of carbon dioxide, oh. which is this smoke that we see. Isn't yeah. that neat? So we can put it here in our bubble solution. We turn it and it can trap the, the fog inside the bubble. Wow, and look. now you have a smoke-filled bubble. That's really neat. Yeah. It was kind of like a crystal ball. Yeah, and you know what's really cool? Remember last time how we put a bubble in your hand? Yep. Would you like a smoke-filled bubble in your hand? Yes, I would, thank you. All right, let's <laughs> do it. All right, so do you remember the trick to how we always hold a bubble without popping it? Right, you don't want your hands to be dry. Mm -hmm. My hands are really dry right now, so I'm gonna put some bubble solution on them. So they get nice and wet. Perfect. Okay. All right, and I will help you put the bubble inside your hand. Okay. All right, here we go. Get it on here, hold on. Why don't we, there we go. Look at that. Whoa. Whoa, now you have a smoke-filled bubble in your hand. That's so cool. You can't even see through it. That's how much smoke is in mm -hmm. there. Can you make it dance? <laughs> oh, come on, bubble. Yes! Oh, this bubble has moved. <laughs> Did you know that carbon dioxide is actually heavier than regular air? Oh. Yeah, so when we fill the bubble, mm -hmm. we use only carbon dioxide. So all you see is the smoke that's inside. Yeah, you can't see through it or anything. Nope, but if we make a bubble and we have both air and carbon dioxide, oh. we'll be able to see which one's heavier. How does it get in there? So we're gonna use this and we're gonna stick it right inside oh. here. Thank you for your help, Mika. Yeah. All right, Whoa. do you see that? Do you see how at the bottom, there's the fog, carbon dioxide smoke, and mm -hmm. then at the top, you can see that it's just regular air. Right. So even though it's both air and gas, one is definitely heavier than the other. Yeah, and it's going to the bottom. Yeah, and then look, now you have a smoke-filled bubble. Oh. Whoa. Biggest bubbles I've ever seen. Ooh, Ooh. bubble hug. <laughs> yeah, that was cool. Do you want to see something, Mika? Yeah. All right. I'm going to make <gasps> a bubble arch. It's like a rainbow. All right. I'm going to make one more just for you. All oh, right. Thanks. Here we go. <gasps> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. All right. Do you want to try? Yeah. Thanks. Oh. Oh, look how big this bubble wand is. It's bigger than my head. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, get some solution on there and... <gasps> Whoa. Wow, it's so pretty. That was awesome. Great job. Thank you. And thanks for teaching me about bubbles and showing me all these cool bubble tricks. Yeah, no <laughs> problem. I hope you're having a great time. Oh, yeah. Have fun. All right, I'll see you later. Okay, bye. Whoa. <laughs> she knows a lot about bubbles. All right. I'm gonna do another arch. Ready? Three, two, one. Arch! Oh. <laughs> I wonder what else I can do with this big bubble wand. Whoa, look! It looks like a magnifying glass. Hello! <laughs> Whoa! Did you see that one? That one popped really fast. Whoa, that one popped fast too. I wonder if I can make one that will stay and float a little bit. <gasps> Whoa! Bubbles inside of a big bubble? Oh, that was amazing. <laughs> Thank you.
Whoa. I could fit inside of that bubble. That's how big it was. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> it's raining bubbles on me. <laughs> some really cool bubble tricks. Wasn't it cool to see that bubble tower that I made? Oh, and my favorite was the big bubble arch. That was so much fun. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. Well, thanks so much for learning with me today. <gasps> A bubble dance party! Let's dance! And today, I'm at Triple Play Family Fun Park in Hayden, Idaho. Oh, I'm so excited to be here. <gasps> What's that sound? Oh my goodness, look, it's a dinosaur. Whoa, are you a Velociraptor? Whoa, wait, I heard about you. Are you Stanley? <laughs> Can you show me some fun things to do inside Triple Play? <laughs> awesome! Come on! <gasps> wow, there's water! Yeah! Oh, Stanley! You know those dinosaurs over there? Ah, hi! I'm Mika! <laughs> wow! Stanley, you're so nice to show me around! I love dinosaurs! <gasps> We should all act like dinosaurs. Can you help us? Okay, awesome. What's something a dinosaur does? Oh yeah, stomp. Stomp, stomp, stomp like a dinosaur. Ooh, what's something else dinosaurs do? Oh yeah, they have really big and mighty roars. Let's roar together, ready? Whoa, Stanley. I don't know if I could roar as loud as you. <laughs> What's something else that dinosaurs do? What, dinosaurs dance? I didn't know that. Let's all dance together. Yeah, you got the move, Stanley. Okay, all right. <laughs> Aw, it was so nice meeting you, Stanley. Thanks for showing us how to be dinosaurs and taking us to this really cool space. I'll see you next time, buddy. Bye. <gasps> Whoa! Did you see how big his tail is? Stanley's so cool. I wonder what else is in here. Whoa! This place is really cool. I've never been in a space like this before. There's a huge pool. Whoa! Look at this. It's a raft. Do you know what shape this is? It's a circle. <laughs> and do you know what color it is? That's right, it's the color red. Good color. Alrighty, oh. <gasps> Let's get a closer look at Stanley's friends. Come on. Okay, let's sneak up on Stanley's friends. Hello! <laughs> oh, hi, nice to meet you. 
My name is Mika. Look, can you see their teeth? They have way more teeth than we do. And they're so, so sharp. They're carnivores. That means they like to eat meat. Whoa. These are velociraptors and they run really, really fast on their legs. Whoa, look how big and sharp that talon is. Whoa, can you imagine if you had those on your toes? <laughs> it would be really hard to wear sneakers if your toenails were like that. <laughs> Let's keep exploring. Whoa, <laughs> look at this. It's like a water playground. They call it the children's lagoon here. Oh, look at that yellow slide. That would be so fun because you can land in the water and get all wet. <laughs> wow, whoa. See how the floor is painted different colors? I see yellow, there's blue, oh, and all the way back there is red. It makes the water look like it's different colors. <laughs> Whoa, looks like you can walk up a net, go up the yellow stairs, and there's more water slides. This place is so cool. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, there's another fountain. Wow. There's water all over this. I think you would need a swimsuit to play on that playground. <laughs> Whoa, look over here. Dinosaur footprints. Whoa, do you think Stanley made those or another dinosaur? Hmm. Oh, here's another one. Whoa, look how much bigger it is than my foot. Whoa. Wow. <gasps> is an actual mold of a real dinosaur fossil. Do you know what kind of dinosaur it is? It's a velociraptor. <laughs> We've seen a lot of those today. Whoa, look at its mouth. You can see its sharp teeth in there. Velociraptors lived 150 million years ago. <laughs> Whoa, is it snack? These are the ribs. We have ribs on our sides. <laughs> wow. Whoa, look at the tail. Even the tail has bones in it. Wow. <laughs> Velociraptors are really cool and really ferocious and strong and super fast. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> More dinosaur footprints. Let's see where they take us. Oh, look at this. A crate of objects. Hmm. And we're by a giant pool. <gasps> that only means one thing. We should play sink or float. <laughs> Will you play sink or float with me? Awesome, let's do it. All right. Let's see what we have in the crate. We have a... Blue bouncy ball. Whoa. <laughs> will it sink or will it float? We won't know until we throw. It's floating. <laughs> and we have a, ooh, a spatula. Maybe you've seen these in your kitchen. You can make pancakes. Ooh. Do you think it will sink or float? <laughs> Let's see. Whoa, it went to the bottom, but the handle is sticking up. It sunk. All right, will it sink or will it float? Wow, this is a really cool cup. I love these colors. Oh, I love it. But will it sink or float? Okay, what else do we have in here? Ooh, here's a fun truck. Vroom, 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 vroom. Ooh, nice and yellow. One of my favorite colors. Huh, I wonder if 
this will sink or float? Only one way to find out. Oh, it floats. <laughs> Whoa, look at these. Hello. Whoa, I can see you way clearer now. <laughs> Let's see, will these silly glasses sink or float? Looks like they're sinking, wow. I totally thought they were going to float. <laughs> All right, what else is in here? Oh yeah, another Velociraptor. <laughs> will you sink or will you float? We won't know until we throw. That dinosaur is definitely floating. All right, hmm, whoa, hey. This is a ruler. You can use it to measure things. I wonder if it will sink or float. Oh, it's sinking. <laughs> wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. Should we see if the rest will sink or float? And one big jump. <laughs> Let's do it. One, two, three. Whoa! Wow! I see some diving sticks that sunk to the bottom and everything else is floating away. Goodbye! Ha. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> awesome! Let's spell it in the pool. Okay, ready? M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika! <laughs> well, thank you so much for having a good time with me today in this super cool place filled with velociraptors. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye! <laughs> hey, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at Billy Bee's in Anaheim, California. My best friend Blippi has been here a few times and said it's so much fun. So I thought I would come here and see for myself. <laughs> I have my compass watch and my jam pack, so I'm ready for any kind of adventure. Come on. Oh, oh it's a note to me, dear Mika. <gasps> And it's from Blippi. Oh, <laughs> let's read it. I'm so excited that you are going to Billy Bee's. You're going to have an amazing time. I've put some things in your jam pack for you to play with throughout the day. You just have to figure out where to use them. Have fun. Oh, you put things in my jam pack? Let's see. Oh, there's a, hmm. <laughs> a chef's hat. Okay. Carrot seeds? Huh. And colorful ribbon. Interesting. <laughs> I wonder what I'm going to use these items for. Well, only one way to find out. Oh, cool. And Billy Bee socks. Let's play. Honeycomb Village. <laughs> Sounds fun. Let's go. Oh, cool. <laughs> Hey, look at this, a garden. Ooh, I love gardens because that means there's delicious fruits and vegetables here and I love to eat. All right, let's see what's in this garden. Ooh, corn on the cob. Mmm, delicious. Ooh, onions, two onions. One, two, yummy. Oh, do you know what these are? It's a root vegetable. That's right, potatoes. One, two. Oh, and I see a big potato right here. Yummy. Oh, this is getting me hungry. There's even strawberries in this garden. One, two. <laughs> Wait a second. Wasn't there something in my jam pack that belonged in a garden? Yeah, I think there was. Carrot seeds. Oh, this will go perfect in the garden. I can just 
let's make some room, excuse me, food, excuse me, and put some carrot seeds in there. And you need nutritious soil and some water and some beautiful sunshine. And then a fruit or vegetable will grow. Ooh, I can't wait to see these carrots grow. <laughs> hmm. Maybe I'll take a snack for the road. Hmm, maybe I'll find a yellow snack. Like a huh, banana. That's a nice, healthy fruit filled with potassium. Hmm, let's go. <laughs> Did you ever notice that a banana kind of looks like a phone? Hello? Hello, Mika. Yeah, it's me, Mika. How are you? Good. What are you up oh, to? Oh, I didn't even know that this was charged up. Yeah, hi. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. I got to go. I'm playing with my friends. Bye-bye. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> hey, I better finish eating this banana. Hmm. <laughs> Peeling and... Mmm. Pretty good. <laughs> Put the peel right here in the trash. Oh, and look, it's like we're in a little house. <laughs> Welcome to my home. Let's see what we have here. <gasps> ice cream in the freezer. And there's two ice cream cones. One, two. One for me and one for you. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, and the refrigerator's on the bottom. I wonder if there's any treats in there. No treats. Looks like somebody needs to go grocery shopping. <laughs> oh, whoa, there's food over here. Look at these two baskets of food. Hmm, we should make something. What should we make? See a lot of bread and cheese and let's make a sandwich. Okay, let's see. What do we have? What do we have in this basket? We have bread. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We have burgers. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We have cheese. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And we have tomatoes, please. Let's stack it. Let's stack it. Come on, we're gonna snack it. <laughs> Check it out. Burger, cheese, tomato. Ooh, it's gonna be messy, but it's gonna be yummy. Mmm! -hmm. Tasty! What else is in here? Oh, a really tiny soda. Oh. <sighs> nice and refreshed. <laughs> Whoa, look at this cool sink. Oh, looks like there's some dirty dishes here. Ooh. Ooh, we really need to clean this spatula. So, oh, here's a sponge. Get a little soap on there and some water. Time to clean. <laughs> there we go. Hey, when you're playing, it's always best to clean up if you make a mess. <laughs> Whoa, okay, let's put some water on here and <gasps> good as new. So clean. <laughs> I wonder what else is here. Let's go. Whoa, a pizzeria. Let's go inside. <gasps> wow, look, pizza. Ooh, I love pizza so much. Hmm, isn't there something in my jam pack that belonged in a restaurant? Let's take a look. Oh yeah, a chef's hat. Okay, if I put it on, I can be a chef. Chef Mika, welcome to my pizzeria. Okay, let's see, we have the pizza ready. Let me get one of these trays here and let me just slide that on here. Ooh, good thing it's pretender. That would be really hot. <laughs> okay, let's put it together to make a nice circle for the pizza. Okay, who ordered the mushroom, tomato, cheese, and green sprinkle pizza? Oh, you? Oh, well, it's ready. Let's go to the register so you can pay. Okay. Let's see, you've got the cheese and the tomatoes and the mushrooms and the green sprinkles. I'm gonna give it to you for free. The sprinkles are on the house. Okay, that'll be one million dollars, please. Whoa, thank you. Okay. Whoop. 
There you go. And here's your change. <laughs> All right, here's your pizza. Enjoy. Actually, pizza sounds pretty good right now. And, oh, yes, I'm due for my lunch break. Okay. Whew. And that pizza special that you ordered looked really good. So I think I'm going to have the same thing. <gasps> and there's one ready for me right over there. Ah, oh, it looks so yummy. Hey, will you count the pizza slices with me? <laughs> okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, six yummy slices just for me. Ooh, then pizza's so fun because you can eat it with your hands. <laughs> All right, let's see. Maybe I'll put some, a little pepper on there, just a little bit. And ooh, some salt. <laughs> ooh, hot sauce. I love spicy food. Okay, actually. <laughs> oh, that looks really yummy. Okay, here we go. Mmm, 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 mmm. It's too hot. Ah, it's too hot. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I thought I could handle it. I cannot. That's okay. We'll just leave it there for a second. Maybe I'll come back to it when I'm feeling a little better. <laughs> Let's see what else is here. Come on. Whoa, look at this really colorful place that we can play in. Come on. Whoa, these are fun steps. Look, the color green. And this step's the color blue. And this is the color green. And this is orange and blue and green. Hey, there's a slide over there. Will you meet me at the bottom? All right, see you soon. Oh, I can't wait to go down the slide. Three, two, one. Whoa! <laughs> that was really fast. Hey, there's something super colorful over there. <laughs> Let's go. Whoa, check out the rainbow slide. <gasps> That must be where I'm supposed to use the rainbow ribbon. <laughs> Did you see that? There's so many different colors. And it looks like there's a ribbon for each slide. <laughs> Guess I have to go down every single slide. Are you ready? I'll meet you at the bottom. See ya. Whoa! Blue! Light blue. <laughs> Here I come. Green. <laughs> Yellow. <laughs> Orange. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> Red. <laughs> hey, we did it. We figured out where to use the items that Flippy put in my jam pack. We got to plant carrot seeds, and oh, I wore the chef's hat when I made pizza in the pizzeria. And the rainbow ribbons led us to these really cool rainbow slides. Oh, it was so much fun playing with you. Well, that's the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H. <laughs> Mika. Well, I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, it's me, Mika. And today I'm visiting Hack Peak in Southgate, California. Did you know this is a place where we can rock climb? <laughs> yeah. Rock climbing is a fun way to exercise our bodies. Oh, I have an idea. Let's play a game. Every time I make it all the way to the tippy top, I'm gonna get a Mika point. <laughs> Doesn't that sound fun? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Come on, let's go. 
wow! Check out all these climbing towers. <gasps> oh, before we start climbing, we should stretch and warm up our bodies. Stretching is a great way to keep your muscles healthy and safe. <gasps> okay, starting with those legs. Ah, deep breaths. Ah. Ooh. <gasps> Do you hear that? I just got a make a point for stretching. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, before I climb, I should take off my jam pack. Okay, I'm ready. Oh, wow. Hey, I'm Mika, nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Bertha, nice to meet you. <laughs> did you just climb all the way to the top? Yes, I did. Oh, wow. Can you show me how to get ready to climb? Yeah, of course. Awesome. <laughs> What's the first step? Thank you. Okay, so the first step, I have to get a harness on you, just for your own safety, okay? Oh, great. We're gonna get a harness on so we can be safe while we climb. Okay, so once you're ready, you're gonna put your right foot and left foot in the small holes and then just pick it up like their pants, okay? Oh, great. Right foot, left foot. Pick them up like their pants. Good job. And then you're gonna hold it on your waist. Thank you. Get in it okay, nice and go. Great, I feel really secure. All right, you're good. Okay, and now the next step, you're gonna get your wheel and you're gonna put it in here, okay? Got my wheel. Hear the click and then you get your key and then take it right out. Release the key. There you go. <gasps> Great. And then just let your mat come down and then you're good to go. Thank you so much for that. Yeah, of course. Bye. <laughs> okay, my harness is on and I'm locked into the belay and I'm ready to go because I'm safe and ready. <laughs> Are you ready? Come on, let's climb. <gasps> wow! using the muscles in my legs and my arms. <laughs> Great job. Wow, another Mika point. It was so cool. I can't wait to climb another wall. But first, we have to get out of our wheel. Pick up the key. Wait for the click. There it is. And release our wheel. Woo. <laughs> Great. Are you ready for our next wall? Me too. Let's go. Look, we're at our next wall. But first, let's stretch again. All right. Here's how I stretch my legs. Yeah, and here's how I stretch my arms. Whoa. <laughs> stretch out my toesies too. And don't forget those ears. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> All right, I'm ready. Take my wheel, click, and release the key. I'm ready to go. <laughs> Whoa, don't these look like eggs? <laughs> All right, here I go. Wow, another Mika point. Whoa, I made it all the way to the top by taking it one step at a time. <sighs> all that climbing has made me kind of tired. I think now's a great time for a water break. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, let's put in our key. Click. Grab our wheel. Ah, <sighs> Let's go. I'm having so much fun climbing walls with you, but I'm feeling a little thirsty. Good thing I brought my water bottle. More Mika points, yeah. Whoa, did I just get another Mika point for drinking water? <laughs> Great. 
<sighs> Climbing up high is a lot of fun, but it's important to drink water after you play. That's called staying hydrated, and it's really good for your body. <laughs> okay, now that I'm hydrated, I'm ready to climb the coolest wall ever. <laughs> Are you ready? Great, let's go. to our next wall. Oh, and it's icy and so chilly. It's Mount Everest and it's really, really cold. Warm up your hands with me. Oh, I know. Let's dance it out to warm up our bodies. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, I'm ready. Let's buckle in and head up the mountain. Mika Point, here I come. It was cold, but I had a lot of fun. I saw so many polar bears at the top. And I earned a Mika point. And we got a Mika point. You know what else I earned? <gasps> Some hot cocoa. Ooh, nice and warm. Mmm. Now let's go see what other fun things we can do. Surprise! Here I am. <laughs> oh, check out these blocks. I want to stack them. Yellow and then blue. Oh, let's do another yellow and another blue. Whoa, cool pattern. A pattern is something that repeats itself. See, blue. Yellow, blue, yellow. Let's put another yellow one on top. Whoa, it's getting so high. Another blue at the very top. Ooh. Whoa, I got it, cool. Let's see if we can put another yellow one on top. Okay, here I go. <gasps> Whoa! Awesome! That was so much fun. Let's find another wall to climb. <gasps> Whoa! This wall is awesome. It looks like seven bouncy balls stacked on top of each other. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is going to be the most challenging climb yet. Challenging means it's going to take a little bit more effort than before, but I'm up for the challenge. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get a Mika point for every ball I climb on. That's going to be a lot of Mika points. You ready? <laughs> Me too. All right, put our wheel in, click, and release the key. Make a point, here I come. Put in my key, release the wheel. That was so much fun. It was challenging, but we made it all the way to the top. 
Great job! <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> wow! Today was awesome! First, we stretched our bodies and warmed up. Then Bertha showed us how to put on a harness so we could safely climb our first wall. We had hot cocoa on top of Mount Everest. Then we finished with a grand finale on the seven bouncy balls and earned lots of Mika points. You helped me earn this many Mika points today. <laughs> Whoa, we make such a great team. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? Great! M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. Okay, see you later. Bye! Hey, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at the Children's Creativity Museum in San Francisco, California. Do you know what creativity is? It's when you use your imagination to make anything. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Mission control. I'm ready to explore. Whoa, smooth landing. <laughs> Did you see I was a rocket ship? <laughs> hey, look at these cool blocks. They're so colorful. Oh, and they feel soft. <laughs> Do you know what shape this is? This is a rectangle. See, there's two short sides and two long sides. Yeah, do you know what color it is? Green, that's right. And look at all the little circles. Ah, these are really cool. Ooh, one of my favorite colors. Yellow. Hey, what if we built a rocket ship out of these blocks? All right, let's do it. Maybe this one and this one. Mm -hmm. And we need some wings. Which block would make a good wing? <gasps> this one. And maybe this one. Hmm. Maybe some yellow on the top. Yellow, it's nice and bright. This way, space knows we're coming. <laughs> and then maybe this. Whoa. Yes. It's time to launch this rocket ship into space. Count down with me from 10, ready? 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! <gasps> We've landed in space. There's no gravity. This is why I'm walking like this. Floating because I'm astronaut Mika. Whoa. One small step for inspiration. One giant leap for creativity. <laughs> Whoa. Look at all these moon rocks. You have to hop over them. Will you hop with me? Okay. Nice hopping. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight. There's more to create. Let's go! Creativity installed. Oh, it says launch it. You must be able to launch things here. Huh. Oh, this is a vertical wind tunnel. Yeah, this wind down here forces things to go up through the tunnel. This is a great way to test gravity. Do you know what gravity is? It's the force that pulls everything on Earth to the ground. It's also what keeps the planets orbiting the sun. Without gravity, they would just be floating around in space like, like this. Whoa! Whoa! Where's gravity? <laughs> hey, looks like there's some items here that we could test to see which ones will float up through the tunnel. It's time for sink or fly. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, look. There's some leaves and flowers. They look really light. Do you think that they'll float up through the tunnel? Only one way to find out. Ready? Three, two, one. Three, two, one. It went all the way up out of the tunnel and here it comes. Ooh, ooh. I caught it. 
I'm gonna see if it'll go up again. Okay. Ready? Goodbye, little leaf. Whoa! That's so cool. What else is in here? Oh! <gasps> Look at the squishy ball. <laughs> I wonder if this will float up the tunnel. What do you think? It's a little heavier than the leaf. All right, let's try. Three, two, one. Nope. <laughs> I think it's too heavy. Oh, look, there's some cotton balls here. See, they're green and soft. They also feel pretty light. Should we try? Maybe we can try both of them at the same time. <laughs> Ready? Three, two, one. Whoa. It didn't fly up, but did you see it twirling around? Let's try again. Whoa, nope. <laughs> All right. <gasps> hey, this kind of looks like my bow. Twins. <laughs> this is pretty light too. Do you think it's gonna go up the tunnel? Let's try. <gasps> oh, just went up a little bit. Let's try it again. <gasps> Whoa, that was so cool. What about this? Ooh, this is so pretty. This piece of fabric, yeah. It looks light and floaty. Let's see what happens. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna let go, ready? Three, two, one. <gasps> Can I catch it? Got it. That was a fun one. I want to do it again. Whoa. Three, two, one. Blast off! Wow. So it seems like the items that are really light go straight up out of the tunnel. And then the items that are kind of heavy stay towards the bottom or they don't float at all. What about this streamer? You might see this at a birthday party as a decoration. But have you seen a streamer in a vertical wind tunnel? Whew. Ooh. Ready, set, go! Whoa! Can I catch it? Can I catch it? Got it. <laughs> Gravity is so awesome. Should we pretend to walk like there's no gravity? Okay, let's go. Whoa. Whoa! Whoa! There's no gravity! <laughs> huh. I wonder what's going on with this wall. I see some tubes and pipes and this looks like a track and... Oh, look! There's a magnet on the side and it sticks to the wall because it's magnetic. Cool. I have a great idea. Let's make a comet run. Do you know what a comet is? It's made of frozen space dust and rock and ice. And the closer it is to the sun, the faster it travels because of gravity. So we could say that this ball is the sun. Ooh. So oh, hot, it's hot. Okay, son, you stay there. And now I need to make a comet run. So I'm gonna move some of these pieces so that the ball can travel towards the sun. So let's see, make this down like this. What do you think? All right, now, which ball should be the comet? <gasps> what about this one? One of my favorite colors, purple. Okay, do you wanna be the comet? Great. Okay, you got this. You have to travel so fast towards the sun. You ready? All right, three, two, one, go! <gasps> Whoa, <laughs> that was amazing! Did you see how fast it traveled? Let's try another one. Maybe 
this yellow one. One of my other favorite colors. <laughs> okay. Focus on the sun and travel as fast as you can. You got this. Three, two, one, go! Whoa! Oh, that one fell off. Maybe we should try the purple one again. All right. There's the sun. Travel so, so fast. Three, two, one, go! Yeah! That was amazing! This calls for a 10 second dance party. Dance it out with me. Hey, let's go explore some more. Whoa, they even have a space up on the rooftop outside where you can be creative. Look at all of this art. <laughs> Whoa, these are doors. Hello, <laughs> they painted them. Oh, look, a little green squiggly line, and someone painted a heart. Oh, cool. Whoa, this structure kind of reminds me of a rocket ship. Three, two, one, blast off! Hey, they have a smock. That means that I could paint something. Yeah, it's good to wear a smock, then you can protect your clothes from the paint. <laughs> I'm feeling so inspired. What should I paint? Maybe something in space? I will paint. <gasps> Maybe you can guess. Do you know what planet we live on? Yeah, Earth. So I'm going to use, you know this color? Blue, yeah, blue like the sky, the ocean. Whoa, I'll make a big circle for our planet Earth. Round and around and around. So there's so much water on Earth and there's a lot of land. So maybe I'll use green too. <gasps> yes, here's green right here. See green like trees, or like a delicious avocado. <laughs> we'll put some green on here too. Oh, okay, there's Earth. And then I think I'm gonna paint some white stars too. Hey, did you know that there's over 100 billion stars in our galaxy? And that our galaxy is called Milky Way. <laughs> we'll just do some stars like this all over. What do you think? I like it a lot. <laughs> wow. Well, I'll let that dry for now. <laughs> I had so much fun playing and learning with you today. We got so inspired and we used our creativity and our imagination. Remember when we learned about comets and how they're made of frozen space dust? <laughs> I think that's so neat. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. All right, I'll see you later. Bye. <gasps>
star. <gasps> Two purple sea stars. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Do you know what color this is? <laughs> yeah, blue. I'm a mermaid. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, let's get our wiggles out somewhere else. <laughs> Come on, dino friend. <laughs> hey, do you see those gray stairs behind me? <laughs> yeah, I wonder where they lead. <laughs> Only one way to find out. <gasps> I know, I'll count the dark gray steps on my way out. Ready? Here we go. One, two, <laughs> Three, four, five, six, seven. Seven dark gray steps. <laughs> hey, this is a pattern. Mm hmm. A pattern is something that repeats itself. Light gray, dark gray, light gray, dark gray, light gray, dark gray. <laughs> hmm. Oh, I think I see a slide over there. Let's go. Oh, okay, Wiggles. Away you go. <laughs> Here I come. Whee! <laughs> oh, that was so much fun. <sighs> okay, time to get ready for bed. Woo! Okay, it's time to get ready for our sleepover. Oh, I should check my night-night chart. <laughs> That's a place where I put all the steps of my nighttime routine. Mm -hmm. And I go down the checklist one by one. First, I eat some dinner. We can't go to sleep with empty bellies, so I prepared us a meal. <laughs> Here we go, dinner is served. This dino friend is a stegosaurus. Did you know a stegosaurus's brain is the size of a walnut? <laughs> That's nuts. <laughs> and stegosauruses are herbivores. That means they like to eat plants and vegetables. So I've made you a carrot and an apple. Mmm, delicious to the core. <laughs> and some mushrooms. I have some salmon, asparagus, and tomatoes. Okay, here you are, friend. What's that? You'd like some pepper? Okay, tell me when to stop. Stop! <laughs> I'll take some pepper, too. Would you like some pepper? Here you go, friend. <laughs> okay, time to eat. Mmm, that's delicious. Have some salmon next. Mmm, so fresh. <laughs> okay, friends. My belly's nice and full and I'm ready to get to sleep. But first, let me clear these plates. <laughs> okay, let's wash our dishes. I know. I'll wash and you can dry. Hey, do you know what this utensil is? That's right, it's a fork. Let's count how many forks we have. One, two, two forks. Okay, time to get clean. Squeaky clean. <laughs> we washed our dishes. This calls for a 10 second dance party. We did it, we did it, we never ever quit it. We did it. <laughs> okay, it's time for bed. 
Will you help me prepare for bed? <laughs> Great! I have a chart that I use that has all the things I need to do before I get into bed. First up, I have to put on my pajamas. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> Time to put on my pajamas. <laughs> my pajamas are on. <gasps> oh, I got a sticker on my night-night chart. Next up, I have to brush my teeth. <laughs> I like to brush my teeth before bed so I wake up with a fresh, clean mouth. <laughs> got my blippy toothbrush and some minty toothpaste. <laughs> Yay! Nice and fresh. <laughs> oh, look! I got a sticker on my chart. Awesome! We did it! <laughs> oh, look at you, Dino friend. You're all set up. <gasps> oh, I love your tent. It's my favorite color. Purple. <laughs> I'll roll out my purple sleeping bag too. <laughs> okay, time for my night night stretches. Would you like to stretch with me? <laughs> Great, let's pretend we're an airplane. <laughs> Okay, put your feet together and flap those butterfly wings. <laughs> wow, you look great, pretty butterfly. Ah, ah. Ooh, that was great. What's that? Oh, you'd like a bedtime story? Okay, you can come over here. There once was a dinosaur and he had a friend named Mika. M-E-E-K-A-H. <laughs> and they had such a great day together. They played in the ball pit and had a yummy, delicious dinner. Mm-hmm. Oh, they did a lot of dancing, too. That made them pretty tired. So they rolled out their sleeping bags and they went to sleep. The end. Oh, my dino friend is sleepy. <gasps> <laughs> okay, Fred, I'll see you in the morning. Oh, look! It's my morning chart. It has everything I need to do to start my day. Oh, it's going to be an awesome day. <laughs> yep, I get a You Did It sticker as a reminder that I'm making my way through my checklist. First, I change from my jammies into my play clothes. Then I do some dinosaur dancing. <laughs> and then I put on my shoes and tie them. And then I brush my teeth. Okay, first up, change my clothes. <laughs> All dressed. Now I have to make sure I have everything I need in my jam pack. Let's see. Binoculars, check. <laughs> Magnifying glass, Ooh, check. <laughs> Now, I'll roll up my sleeping bag. <laughs> roll it up, roll it up, 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 up. Roll it up, roll it up, 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 up. Nice. Okay, don't need my dino light anymore because it's daytime. Off you go. <laughs> How did you sleep, little dino friend? Yeah, I'm 
feeling refreshed too. That means I'm ready to start my day. But first, I should do some stretching. <laughs> stretching is a great way to get your blood flowing to your muscles and even your brain. First, I start with my Diplodocus dip. One, two, three. Ah. Next, I do my Bronto burst. One, two, three. Rawr. <laughs> then, my Pteranodon flyby. Ska, ska, roar, roar. Ska, ska, roar. <laughs> I do my velociraptor run in place. <laughs> Roar. <laughs> Roar. <laughs> Great job. How do you feel after doing my dinosaur stretching? Yeah, I feel great too. This calls for a 10 second dance party. Woo! -hoo. Morning chart. Okay, let's go play. <laughs> Woo! <-hoo! laughs> okay, time to put on my shoes and tie them too. <laughs> okay, little dinosaur friend, this is a great spot for you. <laughs> Dinosaurs don't wear shoes. <laughs> ah, okay. <gasps> oh, that's not the right spot. <laughs> I know, because I put some stickers inside. Yeah, so I would know which one's the left and which one is the right. Do you see these glasses? Do you know whose glasses these are? <laughs> yeah, Flippy! <laughs> okay, let's put on my first shoe. Tying your shoes, it's easy to do. Grab the laces and swirl them. It's easy to do. <laughs> okay, make two bunny ears. Mm-hmm, and put them right here. Mm-hmm, and swoop it and loop it. It's easy to do. <laughs> okay, one shoe down, one more to go. Tie your shoes, it's easy to do. Grab the laces and twirl them too. It's easy to do. <laughs> make two bunny ears. And put them right here. And twirl it and loop it. It's easy to do. <laughs> Yay, great job. Woohoo! Shoes all tied and I'm ready to go. Let me check my morning chart. That's right, a sticker because my shoes are all tied. A great morning makes a great day. <laughs> an awesome sleepover. Oh, I had so much fun playing with my dino pal. <laughs> and showing you my daily routine. Oh, I did almost everything on my checklist, but one last thing. I'm off to brush my teeth. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> M-E-E. K-A-H, Mika. Great job, friends. Bye-bye, see you next time. Whoa. <laughs> hey, everyone, it's me, Mika. And today, I'm at Sky Zone Trampoline Park in Anaheim, California. <laughs> Woo, look at these blocks. They're so fun and light. They're made out of foam. And look, this one is orange. And oh, there's a blue one there too. And it says, welcome. <laughs> That's so nice. I'm really excited because there are trampolines here and foam pits that you can jump into. And I really want to learn how to do a flip. I wonder if there's someone here who can teach me how to do that. Let's go find out. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mika.
Olivia. Hi, I'm Priscilla. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Welcome to Sky Zone. Ooh, thank you. I'm so excited to be here. <laughs> awesome. Okay, first we do need to pick out some wristbands in order to go inside the park. Ooh, I love wristbands. Hmm. So which color would you like? Oh, let's see. There's orange, green, <gasps> yellow. Yellow is one of my favorite colors. I want Mine this one. too. All right, here, let's go. Thank you, so official. <laughs> and now we have to pick out some socks. Okay, why do we need to put on special socks? The special socks have grip on them so that when you're on the trampoline, you don't slip. Oh, that's so smart. Hmm, let's see, we have some orange socks and ooh, some blue and black and pink socks. Hmm, I think I'm gonna go with the orange. I love this color, and my best friend Blippi really loves orange. I'm gonna wear these. All right, perfect. <laughs> Thank so you. So what brings you in today? Oh, I really wanna learn how to do a flip on the trampoline. All right, perfect. We have Quincy in the park who can teach you how to do a flip. Wow, okay, let's go find Quincy. Thank you. Of course. <laughs> trampolines and this huge foam pit behind me. Wow, I've never seen so many trampolines before. Will you count them with me? Awesome, let's go. Okay, ready? One, <laughs> two, three, four, five. Wow, five trampolines! Huh, I wonder where Quincy is. That's who's supposed to teach me how to do a flip. Oh, I'm so excited. Where is he though? I wonder if he's in the foam pit. Should I jump in and see? <laughs> Let's do it. Woo, wow! <laughs> Quincy! Quincy? Hmm. Quincy! I don't think anyone's in here, except me. <laughs> Whoa, it says foam zone. That's where we are, in this big foam zone. Check out these blocks. Look, you see a square? When there's six squares together, that makes a cube. And these are made out of foam, so it's soft and squishy, so it feels really fun and nice to jump into a foam pit. And you don't get hurt. <laughs> Look, there's orange, blue, and black. <laughs> this is so fun. I can't wait till I learn how to do a flip. I wonder where Quincy is. <gasps> Maybe he's over there. Come on, let's go look. Whoa, this is cool. But I still don't see Quincy anywhere. Huh. Whoa. I know what this is. It's orange, it's round, and oh, it bounces. This is a basketball. But why would a basketball be at a trampoline park? <gasps> hey. There's a basketball hoop <laughs> and another trampoline. I bet jumping on a trampoline and throwing a basketball into the hoop is a lot easier than if you're just on a regular ground. Oh, I'm gonna try it. Okay, let's see. On three, one, two, three. Ah, didn't get it in. Oh, here's another one. It's yellow. Maybe I'll try and throw it. Words. One, two, three. Whoa. Oh, whoopsie. <laughs> oh, there's another one. Hmm. Maybe if I do three big bounces to the hoop, that will go in. Ready? One, two, three. Ah, there's one more ball. Okay, how should I do this one? Hmm. Maybe. I'll do one giant bounce and a turn for finesse. <laughs> Ready? 
One. Oh, I still didn't get it in. <laughs> That's okay. I'm gonna keep looking for Quincy. I can't wait to learn how to do a flip. <laughs> Quincy! No, Quincy. <laughs> Let's go over to the other side. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> do you know what this is? This is a balance beam. It's called that because it's a beam and you have to have really good balance to stand on it. Whew. You don't want to wobble and go side to side. Did you know that there are a lot of animals who have really good balance? And mostly because of their tails. <laughs> Squirrels have really good balance because of their swooshy tails and cats, meow, meow. <laughs> and kangaroos. Yeah, kangaroos have long tails that help them balance and they're really good jumpers. <laughs> <laughs> Will you jump with me? <laughs> hey, let's jump over there. Woo! <laughs> Whoa! More trampolines! <gasps> Look how many are in here! Whoa! Wow! <gasps> that has to be Quincy! He's so good at jumping! Whoa! <laughs> Hello? Quincy? I am Quincy. Hi, I'm Mika. It's nice to meet you, Mika. How nice you doing? Nice to meet you too. I'm having so much fun here. Oh, I'm so glad to hear that, Mika. So I heard that you are really good at flipping. You might have heard right. Oh, well, I want to learn how to flip too. Can oh, you help me? I can take good care of you. Oh, awesome. <laughs> what do we need to do first? All right, first and foremost, we have to warm up. Oh, right. It's important to warm up our body so we don't get hurt. Exactly, Mika. Okay, so what do we need to do? So first things first, you know, we're just gonna touch the ground. Oh, okay. We're just touch, touch the, the ground. ground. Oh. You know, then we're gonna lean to the left, and then we're gonna lean it to the right. Okay. Ah. And you know, once your legs feel all good, you get some jumping jacks in. Woo! You know, you know, have some fun with it. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> wow, it's kind of like making a snow angel in the air. Exactly. Whoa! <laughs> wow! Okay, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm getting warmer and looser. Are <laughs> right, you feeling warm and loose? I think so. All right, let's see if you can do a jump twist then. Whoa, a jump twist! Okay, ready? Whoa, like okay. that? Just like that. Wow! <laughs> I got what else can we do? Well, you ever done a somersault? Yeah, have you ever done a somersault before? Okay, let's do it together. All right, you know how to do a somersault, Mika? Yeah. So what are the first steps, just first as a steps, reminder? Visualize your platform. Ooh, okay. Visualize. Then you're gonna put your hands out. Okay. Oh. And fall. Okay, so hands out, and what do I do with my head? You're gonna tuck your head in like a bowling ball. Oh, tuck your head in like a bowling ball. You're gonna tuck. And then become the ball. <laughs> become the ball. Here I go. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that, Mika. That was so fun. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Okay, ready? All right. Visualize. Visualize. Head tucked. Head tucked. And become the ball. Become the ball. Oh, whoa. <laughs> that was really fun. It was really fun. Now I got a question for you. Yeah. Think you can do it in the air? Oh, I've never tried before. You want me to show you? Yes, please. All right. But first, you're gonna get a whole lot of air. Whoa. A whole lot of air. And then, next you're gonna do, you tuck your chin again. So once you get all that air, you're gonna tuck your chin. And remember, only try and do a flip if you're with a grown up. Whoa, did you see that? He just did a front flip in the air. That was amazing. <laughs> ah, thank you. How do you jump that high? Uh, <sighs> Basketball helps. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Sometimes you just gotta have fun with it in the air. Hop over your leg. Wow. You're so good Meditate at jumping. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. That was so fun. But Quincy, I don't know if I'm ready.
ready to do a flip in the air like you just did. Well, you gotta keep practicing, Mika, and then you'll get it. I got it. So, I have to remember to jump really high, stay in one spot, tuck my head, and go forward like a ball. Exactly, it's just like a somersault, but you're taking away the ground. Got it. Thank you so much. Of course, Mika. I'm gonna take all of these things and I'm gonna practice and then one day I'll get to do a front flip just like you, Quincy. I hope so, Mika. <laughs> Thank you so much. Of course, I'm gonna go bounce now. All right, me too. See you later. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> wow, that was so much fun playing and bouncing at Sky Zone Trampoline Park. <laughs> I really wanted to learn how to do a flip today, and Quincy was an amazing teacher. He knows a lot about flipping and bouncing on trampolines. Oh, and it was so fun jumping into the foam pit. The foam pit was nice and soft and squishy and oh, made out of blocks like this. Wait a second. Do you know what this says? It says, Mika. <laughs> That's me, that's my name. Well, I had so much fun playing and learning with you today. If you wanna see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Awesome! M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. We'll see you next time, bye. Hey, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at Play Lab in Eagle Rock, California. There's so many different kinds of toys to play with inside. There's even dinosaur toys. <laughs> and my friend Naisha is stopping by to teach us colors in American Sign Language. Let's go. Cool, a train table. Have you ever played with toy trains before? They're so fun. Look at this one. There's one, two, three, four cars. And they're sticking together. Check it out. They're magnetic, meaning they attract to each other. See, they stick together. Whoa, look at the wheels. Let's see the colors on top of here. We have orange, black, red, and red. All right, Conductor Mika is ready to take this train on a trip. All aboard! All right, guess it's time for me to keep playing. See you later, train. <laughs> Let's go over here. This is a cool room to play in. Hey. Hello? <gasps> Hi, Grandma. Uh-huh. Oh, I'm just playing with my friends. Yeah, yeah, can I call you back? Okay, bye, Grandma. <laughs> oh, and look, there's little babies in here. Oh, it's so cute. Hi, baby. Oh, what? Oh, it's nap time. Shh, sorry. Hey, I wonder if I could climb up here. It's kind of small. Do you think I'll fit? All right, I'll try it. Hello, up here. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Oh, it looks like I'm on a bridge. Oh, and there's a little slide. Three. Two, one, whoa! <laughs> what? You see dinosaurs? Oh, I love dinosaurs! Whoa, these are really cool. Look at this one. See the plates on the back? Oh, rah, rah. that means hello. <laughs> whoa, and this one has a crest. You know, a lot of dinosaurs that have a crest like this, instead of roaring, they would kind of sound like honk, honk, <laughs> honk, honk. Whoa, this one has some sharp teeth in there. Ooh, very cool. 
And this one has wings, so we can fly. Whoa! These dinosaur toys are so cool. My favorite dinosaur is the T-Rex. I wonder if they have a T-Rex here. It's not that one. Not this one with the long neck. T-Rexes don't have long necks. Oh, here it is, the T-Rex! Hi, Mika. Hey, T-Rex, how are you? I'm fine, I wanna go down the slide. Oh, <laughs> you have to ask nicely. Can I go down the slide, please? Oh, sure, here we go. All right, are you ready? Three, two, one! What's wrong? Oh, he's a little bit nervous. Let's just say, you can do it! You got this! Okay. You can do this! You got this! Come on, T-Rex! Yeah, you did it! Oh, I'm so proud of you! Thank you. <laughs> Aw, that was fun. Oh, look at these blocks. They're soft and squishy. Hmm, maybe we could build a tower. See if I could build a tower as tall as me. Whoa. Okay. I have to get even taller than that. Oh, I have to have really good balance blocks. Oh no. Come on. Taller, taller. It has to be taller. We gotta make the blocks even taller and taller. Come on, blocks. Taller and no. <laughs> That's okay. Let me clean up real fast. <laughs> Hi, Naisha. Oh, who's your friend? This is my friend who's an interpreter. Her name is Rory. Oh, hi, Rory. I'm Mika. Hi, Mika. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. So Rory's an interpreter, so she's going to help us communicate, which is good because I only know a little bit of sign language. And I'm so excited that you are both here so that we can learn some colors in American Sign Language. All right. Yes, we can. So let's start with, ooh, what about this balloon? Do you know what color this is? It's orange. So how do we say orange in American Sign Language? Like this? Okay, are you doing it? Orange. Good job. Cool, all right, that orange. <laughs> ooh, what about this one? It's one of my favorite colors. Do you know what it is? Purple, that's right. So how would we say purple? Oh, the letter P, right? Purple. Yeah, because P is the first letter in the word purple. I got it, cool. Bye, purple. Oh, do you know what color this balloon is? It's pink, good job. Okay, so how would we say pink? So the letter P again, and then you hit your chin like this, pink. Good job. All right, bye pink. <laughs> Ooh, what about this little balloon? Do you know what color this is? It's blue. Ooh, like my fingernails. <laughs> how do we say blue in American Sign Language? Okay, so the letter B and then kind of wave it like that. Cool, are you trying it? Good job, blue! Bye, blue! And this balloon is what color? Red! Nice! So how would we say red? Okay, so you take one finger and you rub your chin like this. Red! <laughs> nice! Bye, red! Oh yes, another one of my favorite colors. Do you know what it is? Yellow. Okay, how do we say yellow in American Sign Language? Okay, so like the letter Y and then wave it. Can you do that? Yellow, good job. Bye yellow. Wow, thank you so much for teaching us how to say those colors in American Sign Language. It's great to see you and to be able to teach you. Oh, it's 
good to see you too. And really nice meeting you, Rory. All right, I'm gonna keep playing inside, but I hope to see you two later. <laughs> Bye. Oh, cool. There are more toys in here. A helicopter. <laughs> oh, look, a little car. Uh-oh, it needs a driver. Oh, I can drive. Oh, you can? Can I see your driver's license? Whoop, looks like you. Yep, okay, get on in. All right, enjoy the ride. Whoa, whoa, hey, slow down. My bad, it's okay. Nice park job. Oh, look at these circles. See a red circle. Oh, hi. Nice smile. And see what's under the orange one. Oh, another friend. Hello. And another orange. Hi. Oh, cool blue glasses. And let's look under this yellow one. Oh, hi. And let's look under this other yellow one. Oh, hello. I didn't know there were gonna be friends in there. Oh, cool. Check out these shapes. It looks like this one's missing, but we could start with this circle. All right, let's go right there. And, oh. A triangle. All right, see you later, triangle. Do you know what this is? It has one, two, three, four, five sides. That's a pentagon. All right, later, pentagon. And this is a trapezoid. Yeah, very cool shape. Go in there. Yeah, they all fit. Nice. Whoa. Look at these colorful blocks. Let's check them out together. Hmm, let's see. I like this blue one and purple. Hmm, yellow or is this orange? This one's more like yellow, right? Yeah, orange, yellow, pink, and red. Wait a second. These are the colors that we learned with Naisha, remember? American Sign Language? Let's see if we can remember, okay? Do you remember how to say red? Red. Yeah, good job. What about pink? Do you remember how to sign pink? Pink. Pink. Good job. Ooh, what about yellow? I really like this one. Yellow, remember? <laughs> and orange, orange is, yeah, orange. And purple, one of my favorites. Remember, purple, good job. And what about blue? Yeah, make the letter B, blue. Good job, that was so fun learning that today. <laughs> I had so much fun playing with you today at Play Lab. There's so many different toys inside. We got to play with trains and dinosaurs, and blocks, and my friend Naisha taught us some colors and American Sign Language. Wasn't that so cool? Thanks for learning with me. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Great! <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. Okay, friends. Bye!